talk about that. But yeah. was this Vardanikin guy? Uh, is he still alive? Even yep. so, they say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or it's a clone. I think it's a body double. Yeah. If they can use the false yeah. flags and body doubles, be I, it, like Susa was into a spontaneous combustion. I would. That was my guy. I was so into the ancient aliens and UFOs are abducting people when I was a teenager. I read every one of Von Daniken's books. Well, probably not every one. I think he's got twenty. I did a category on that, by the way. Uh, but it was probably at least six or seven while I was in uh, early high school. I think mm-hmm. that so, was Saunders's gateway. Too. I guess. I, I guess I still have our books. I guess I read the first one, and I read the read the read the Vel- Velikovsky. Of course, that was way back. Not that I was particularly impressed with either one of them. The Chariots of the Gods wasn't real. <laughs> Don't tell Ron these things, you know. Oh no, Ron! Uh, it what was the heck's real going book. on? What's going on with? I watched Jason? all of Star Cops last week. Nice. And, and and I can't believe I made it through the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, okay. is it like the prisoner? Oh, okay. Um it's like a bad Doctor Who, but it gets oh. sing- it gets you going to the point where um by the but the third episode my wife and I are looking at each other saying, you know, maybe we'll stick through this one and watch the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. And we did. The, the worst yeah, episode, yeah. Right? Are, are they the people who stop you for uh, for going uh, warp 6 and a warp Star 5 though? Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, Ron, did you finish the series? You liked it? We not only watched the series, we watched the making of. And did you know that there is a new version that came out in 2018 with the the surviving members of the team, but it's audio books only. Oh. Oh. So you did. Are are you saying you wound up liking it? Ended up liking it there, despite the fact that it was terrible quality. I don't know how much of that was because it was 1980s versus the fact that it was on YouTube. Uh, or a combination of the two. Oh, uh, you, like mean, I said, you mean the quality of the video screen? You know, like how bad it was? Well, the kind of quality of the videos itself, the quality of the special effects, well, even, special for the effects 19, are... even for the no, 19... Production quality. Yeah, but, but, the, but, but the, the show itself, quality. it pulls you in. It really story, did so pull the, you so in. So the, write, the writing was good then. The writing yeah. is very good. And the people look like, not like actors. They look like people. They're people. They're not like some dolled up person you're like is that tom cruise you know just got some makeup on no they they look like people you would run into or your life yeah thank you Rod and luann my god you see what's going on it's it's turning into a porno co- comic strip it's now i've been doing that at times i'm kind of wondering now look I, i'm opening up something here on skip on us uh, uh from scoring the strange i got my scoring the strange you guys should all have a skeptic crate you should be getting from scaring the stage. Let's see what it is. I'm going to open it up. It's an unpacking. This is, you pay $5 an episode or whatever like that. And uh, for the Scaring the Strange podcast, and they send you this every month. And it's always so interesting what she sends me. So here's, let's see what's in here. Usually there's a letter. And it says, you're a skeptic crate. And then there's a letter and she talks about the episodes that have been it's from Celestia. And then she sent me, oh, speaking of Star Cops, here's a keychain with a little spaceman on it. That's about the quality of the graphics in the show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's all, it's, it's, it's the, it's the writing. It's not about the graphics. But and it's then, the writing. There, there was a review that, that they talked about in the making of thing that said that, you know, if you just read the stories, it was probably better than watching it. I liked it. I love the writing. The Moody Blue song. I love that. And then she sent me two, I guess they're bingo cards. Dr. Mondo's Halloween Horror Fest bingo cards. So I got two of these. I guess I can play bingo with one other person. Let's see. You say the writing was bad. You know, I'm way more into uh, written science fiction than uh, than TV and movie science fiction. (laughs) This is a this is a card. It looks like an invitation. You're such a sweetie. It's a Valentine card, I guess, that we send out. It's a little Valentine, and that's what we got. You never know what she's going to send us each month, and it's always so cool. And I've got stickers and all kinds of stuff from her. So you should get your skeptic crates, you guys. Just just saying. Don't be jealous now because I got a little spaceman on on a, a Star Cop looking quality 
keychain with a little spaceman on. Don't be jealous. That is the weirdest looking chicken I've ever seen, Rob. <laughs> what? 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 Is that a chicken? Leftovers. What's behind him? No, no, yeah, Me? that's already been done. I said, you, you was... meant, I think he, I think you meant Bob. Or Bob, sorry. Yeah. Cut, well, cut her some, sorry, cut her some slack. She's 16 years old almost. Ah. <gasps> Look at her. Oh, there's a giddy. Okay. That's not a chicken. And there's that hand, that wild hand that just appears out of nowhere. Okay. It looks mm. so strange. Spooky. But in this case, I can see, I, I see Ryan next to Bob. Well, let's change his name because that looks ridiculous. Gee. Yeah, there we go. Is it? So, that's, chickens oh, that's a cutie. Pets. Okay, Ryan. Woo, woo. Cats. <laughs> is that a kitten, Ryan, or is that an older one? I can't, could, it looks like a kitten, like a year or so. But she said he said she's 16. Oh, that was Bob. I, yeah, Bob said that, but she'll Ryan be, and Bob are will be 16 in, in March. Bob and Ryan are, are, are in the same on the same couch. Oh, okay. I didn't realize Amelie. that. I that named her. Her name's Amelie. She Aww. was born on my futon. <laughs> As one is. Good start to a song right there. there you go. <laughs> Team name. Team name. <laughs> yeah. So Ryan and Carrig are Bob's children. And Ryan and Carrig are in different places. Right now, Bob and Ryan are in the same couch. Ah, okay. Hi, so I know it's confusing. Just like you and Alan are siblings. And then Avi. It's just crazy. And look. There's my 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 offspring. That's so cool. Oh, your offspring? Yeah, he's there. He's just lurking. See him? He's gonna get a new computer with it. Did you order the new computer, Cass? I don't have any money to order the new computer yet. Oh, I thought you were getting it in the January because of the um uh, the thing you were using. Your point. I'm getting it when Costco sends me my money. Oh, I thought it was January. I'm just looking forward to seeing you on the computer screen. We're going to do something different today. What? Rob's in charge. Oh, now next week. Let me open this up. Are you reading the uh, everything, Rob? Wait, you confused me. It? You said Rob's in charge tonight. No, you're still running it. But, uh, all right, okay, I'm doing so I'm still categories. using the spreadsheets and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm running it still. Okay. Yeah, I, I could do it next week if you're not going to be here. No, I'm going to be here. Oh, so, so, here. so what did you say about next week? That next week is, is uh, Groundhog's Day. Oh, okay. And so when, when is it you're going away that you said you I'm need? I'm not going away. I said, if I'm going away, <laughs> you could run everything. And you said, no, I want, want you to be here. And I said, all right, well, I have nothing planned. Okay, so next week, Troy is doing a round. That's what I was trying to say. So uh, since Troy has never done a round before, hi, Peggy. We, we like to have, what we like to do is have, Troy will send all our questions and answers to somebody who's been doing this a while who will not be here on the second and they can eyeball it and make sure it's okay. That's what I want to do. So I need a volunteer oh. who will not be here next week. And I can ask later in the game if if everybody's playing and being here next week. Why is your camera sideways, Susan? Sideways? Normally the view is the one like the one behind me, but now it's sort of to the side. Different camera. No, it's the same well, camera. Why is just, your view askew? I I have a. It's on a tripod. It's always been on a tripod. So oh, she, she, so see you, the bookshelf. Yes. Normally she I moved, can't see the bookshelf. She moved the tripod. It's usually more directly in front of her. Ah. Yeah, it's just uh -huh. a tripod. It's more this way, but. We, I was cleaning or something. I don't know. It's but you know, I have to get a new background. <laughs> well, sometimes I have it this way, sometimes I have it your way. All right. So the truth is there's blood splatter on the wall to your <laughs> side there, and you're trying to avoid showing it. We don't talk about such things. We we can't do that. So Rob, make another co-host for your um who you went Adrian to. Adrian said she might be a bit late to that. Okay. Wendy says she's gonna she's tired out and she's gonna show up 
Um, she's she's not going to make it tonight. Um, so question, Susan. Yes, Troy. Um, so I know that when somebody's doing the questions, they seem to have like control over something and they bop in and out of um, groups. Um, is that going to be something obvious for me when, you, <laughs> when it comes around to me doing it? Here, let me show you. Oh, well, okay. Okay, you have the controls now. Me? Woohoo! Can you see it? Um, see what's different? Or the room? Nope. Do you see breakout rooms? Oh, yeah. So now you have control. You can move well, well so, so right, right now it says create because they haven't been made yet. But once they're made, you will see each room listed and you could join any of them by hitting so the I'll, I'll leave Troy in char uh, with the co host skills so she gets a skill, I, I mean, an idea of what it looks like. Okay. Just leave, just leave them in there tonight. Do you want to mute people? So, me? Only if somebody's being noisy. Well, <laughs> you can be the official. Troy can be well, the just, official. Just make Troy the official. You're you're in charge, Troy. That means people coming in. You let them in. You can mute everybody. You got to figure out how to mute everybody. How do how do you do it again, guys? You go under. It's under participants. Oh, yeah. Okay. Find the participants. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's see where there it says at the bottom. It says invite mute all. Uh, yes. Okay. And that's how you yeah, mute everybody. highlight someone and mute them. Actually, what does invite do? I've never clicked that button. I think it just gives you a like option. I don't know. So well, Troy, what you're going to do is whenever somebody's contact. category, oh, no. when contact Rob is doing all the categories tonight. So what you're going to do okay. is when Rob announces the category name, you're going to say, and we all boo or whatever we do. What? Then, then what? you're going to love these. What's not to look at those categories? There's nothing not to love there. Oh uh, yeah. Um, and you're gonna, you're gonna, <laughs> celebrities don't do it for me. And then you're gonna say, I'm gonna mute everybody, and and then you mute everybody. You will not be muted, and everybody else will be muted. So that's gonna be your job tonight. And okay. um, I see Jane just came in. Hi, Jane. So Hello? Troy, can you change Jane's name to Jane? All Jane right. in California. Jane in <laughs> California, because we have two Janes. Hi, Christy. So, Hi, Vince. Rob, what, Vince what happens when you click that invite button? Is oh, somebody yeah. you don't, somebody you don't know will die. Okay. So it actually opens Walks. a window. Invite people to join this meeting, and it's uh, asking if I want to use my contacts, a desk phone, or email. Interesting. A desk phone. Yeah. <laughs> I remember Wait, George too. Santos, see who shows up. <laughs> so it's next week that I do the questions, right? Yes. Next week you're yeah, out. Okay. I was getting scared there for a second. And it's oh, like you oh. didn't know you're running the whole game tonight, huh? Forgot. <laughs> you're in charge. I forgot whether it was this week or next week. And it's like, oh, if it's this week, I'm and gonna you be showed up, you should have not showed up. <laughs> Wait, well, next yeah. week, where are you? Why aren't you here? So Susan, nobody one thing that nobody can text me except for Adrian. I'll drive Why? to the house and knock on the door. Yes, Rob. You'll drive. You'll drive all the way up here and knock on three thousand plus miles in I'd order like to, drive. to. I have. I have a high. Oh, can't be three thousand miles. I don't know. I three thousand across the whole U.S. And she's old. Hi, Jamie. Well, yes, it's across Good the U.S. and part of Canada. Yeah. Aren't you like in the middle of Canada? Uh, yeah. From coast to coast, I mean, somewhere, isn't it? I mean, like Calgary is fairly far from miles. West yeah, yeah, there we go. There's, there's only yeah, like 12 people in Canada. Uh, it shouldn't be that many. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. So, Susan, since you're going to you actually know, that's it. <laughs> be on a team tonight, right? It's not going to record all the other rooms. That'll be the only thing that's different. It will, it will always be recording your room, but that's okay. So, put me in a team where people are going to be okay with being recorded. Well, I'm not, you're making the teams like you always do. I'm not doing that. No, I wasn't making the teams. You want me to make the teams? Yeah. If you uh, make a team for me, make sure that I go on Ben's team. <laughs> Ben's not here. Of course, Ben's not here, so. So that makes it a little awkward. 
moot point. Can I be on a, I be on a team with Bob and Ryan? No, see, we can't do I this. Be every, everyone wants Carl. to be on a team with somebody if we start picking <laughs> I, I, Okay, okay. Well, I, I started something, didn't Carrie I? Carrie hardly ever shows up. I will let her be on her. Well, because Ryan and Bob have to be on the same team anyway, because they're on they the do. same couch. In the same so, room, yeah. In the same, same room, same room. couch, same cat. So One microphone. And one microphone. So I don't see a problem with uh, Karen being with her family. That must be nice. Never see them. I know. I know. Okay. So <laughs> yeah. I need to put, wait, let me think this through. Our, our goal will not to, to be not, not in last place. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Bob and Bob's laptop, Karen and Ryan are in one team. No pressure or anything, but you're all team. And Carl. <laughs> Does anybody know who Sam Pepper was? I'm a pepper, you're a pepper, he's a pepper. Wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? No, I don't. No? Nobody knows? Okay. I was going to do some questions on some prank videos, but... I just watched some horrible stuff. So Ooh, I don't know if that's good. That Sam was Pepper was was one trivia, of them. Trivia. I don't know. Hey, where is that? Been. Where's Romero and Faith these days? Are they traveling or something? No, they were at the book club last night. <clears throat> I wasn't at a book club last night. For Triangle Skeptics. They discussed uh yeah, the Grass Tyson's book. So I went. We just oh, finished it. You know, Mark is reading that. He's been quoting from it. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I guess I should read this book. Yeah, we finished it this morning. Oh. John and I have been reading it aloud. That's to so each other? To each other? Uh, I do the reading. He does the listening. And we do the talking together. Oh, wow. It's There's nice. Beth. It's over our morning coffee. It's ben really is here. nice. Okay, so I've mostly randomized this. So don't freak out, but I did do what Karen said. She wants to be on the team with her, her sibling and her dad. That's sweet. And then everything else is random. So I kill him. I'm gonna I'm gonna create him. Uh, but, but, but I but I don't actually go in a room. You have me in a room, but I'm not in a room. I know it doesn't uh, oh, here's Ben. Yeah. So I will put Ben with the room that has the least. Because Rob is in a room right now, but you really aren't in a room. Right. So I'll put him over here. So I'm numb. I'm going to put him. Hold on a second. That's, that's weird. Okay. Seconds. I'm going to put him over here. We'll do we'll do it. Um, okay, so that I can do that. Let me write this down. Then, oh, I, I should go to my team. You should. Because I'm sitting here like a stick in the mud here. Oh, Romero just joined. Oh, wonderful. Okay, let's put Romero. I will put him over here. On hey, Romero. We were just talking about you. Hey, yeah, well. We were like, where were you? Oh, you're dark. What happened there? Uh, power, power outage? Can no, it's, it's my camera. I have to adjust my uh, my settings on my camera. Wow. OK, I'm okay. going to my room, which is Where's Faith? Five. He's coming. Yeah. OK, so it's going to be 60s. When we're trapped. And um, hey, my guys, grandmother guess wanted... what? I'm on your team. Yay, oh, Susan. Great. The whole night. Can you stand it? And Caspian too. Wow. Oh. We're getting the family. This is going to be fun. Oh, good. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good yeah, we were just talking about how amazing it is to be in real time with someone. Yeah, 10,000 miles away. World. It's weird. And it's free. That's what I just can't yeah. get out. I yeah, mean, it's, it's like, amazing. amazing. See, but now. <clears throat> Yeah, now that it's so easy, any of our friends, when we write to them, it only takes a second for people to respond. If, if our friends don't respond, now they have no excuse. <laughs> That's true. So family members and anybody else, they have no excuse for not to write. That's right. 
So you're not in here, Rob. You go away. You're not on our team. Oh, I'm, all, I'm, I'm not on a <laughs> team, so it doesn't matter. I can pop in anywhere. No, so, I never go into teams whenever we're at the stage where we're choosing names. I never do. But I don't like sitting in the empty void. It's very spooky. There's no one around. You hear other voices, and I don't know where they're coming from. <laughs> <laughs> they're in your head. Yeah, I think so. I'm in the null and void. It was very weird. <laughs> and void. I like that. That's a good name for our group, the null and void. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go. I don't care. Oh, oh, here's Terry. Terry. I will put her somewhere. Hold on. Go out there and talk to her because she's going to be like sitting there by herself right now. Okay. I'm just making the team names right so now. How do I do that? Uh, where's my leaf breaker? <laughs> Why is a leaf breakout? Where? Is, how oh, do I I'm do trying this? to figure out where I'm putting her. Wait a minute. I don't see how I get out of here without close all rooms. How do I get out of here? Oh, this is weird. There's no th there's no button that says go back to the main room. You're stuck. No, you just go to next. Hey. You just go to join room. You do this every week, Rob. No, but I don't. I, I never come out of here and go back without the button up that just says go, do it. Go to break out. Oh, just, just leave room. Just leave room. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. yeah that you just leave the room. I'll take you to back to the big room. All right. The setting wasn't there unless I scroll down to the bottom. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay. So now let's put Terry. He's gone. Oh, no. We're all by ourselves. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put, wait, wait, wait. Bob. Carrick, Ryan, and Janine are in one room. And then that doesn't seem like very many. Three. Bob, Janine, Carrick, Ryan. Let's put let's put Terry over there. From three. Okay. So what are we supposed to be doing right now? Oh, Picking you have to think of a team names. So I do have I do have one suggestion. The um that whole chat GPT, what's going on? So my name, my name is the new Oreo GPT is one smart cookie. One I don't smart. Get it. I don't get it. The new Oreo GPT is one smart cookie. What? What? I don't get the Oreo reference. Oreo is a cookie. You know the you know the GPT, the Chat GPT. But what does GPT have to do with an Oreo? That's what I'm not. <laughs> I don't think it's a good name, but we have to. We don't, I don't get it. <laughs> You have to oh, well. Okay, you think of I just don't think get of it. I don't want to have to explain it. You know? Well, you have to explain it. Other people can just, you know, suffer. Well, that happens a lot. <laughs> You're about, right. How about this? We just come up with a string of random words. We each come up with one word and we put them in a sentence and we say that's our name. And there's no, yeah. there are a bunch of nouns. No, I don't do this thing. How? Okay, we can do that. So, Jamie, oh, you want to use GPT for your word? Okay. GPT. Jane, think of a word. Um, void. <laughs> huh? Void. Void. Susan? Um, chicken. Chicken? <laughs> Caspian? Helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> I pointed to a random word in the book. <laughs> All right. I'm going to use dinosaur. <laughs> okay. This is, this is a unique name. So, okay. GMT void chicken helicopter dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is weird. It is I love weird. it. I love it. Okay. That's now, we got to have a strategy to win tonight because we've got to prove. I've got something to prove. Oh, I'm you? not inept. Oh. I can do this. We know you're not. I know you're not inept. I'm not going to speak for everyone. <laughs> I never look forward to winning anything when Rob's doing the categories because mm -hmm. his his knowledge base and interest base is vastly different from mine. Right. So we've got to win this. Music and songs. But so, but we I'm might be able to with Caspian because Caspian covers a lot of the. Okay, so Caspian. Areas. No pressure or anything, Cass, but we want to win. <laughs> yeah. And winning's overrated. I am not competitive <laughs> at all, but we're going to win. <laughs> not competitive? She doesn't. I never get to be on just this. Just a I dumb never game, game this, but so if we don't win, I'll cry. <laughs> <laughs> just that. Okay, we got our name, right? Wait, mm -hmm. I want to write it down. Where are we? 
Okay, what is it called again? GTP? G -G GPT, void, chicken, helicopter, dinosaur. They'll all scratch heads. GTT. Chicken. Chicken void helicopter. I'm just trying to think if we rearrange them, if it'd make it. Yeah, it, does it make it funnier <laughs> if I rearrange? But. Helicopter. Dinosaur. <clears throat> helic chicken dinosaur. Oh, April Hoy's here. I haven't seen her in ages. Put her over on. She know she has. We could do her. dinosaur chicken, Boyd GPT helicopter. Yeah, we might need one verb. <laughs> okay. Well, the chicken and dinosaur makes sense. A chicken yeah. and dinosaur, right? Right. So. <clears throat> Boy, the chicken dinosaur. No, chicken. Chicken dinosaur, boy, GPT helicopter. That's a better. Okay. Chicken dinosaur, boy, GPT helicopter. <laughs> And void is a lowercase word. It's sort of a, it's a verb. Chicken dinosaur void GD, GPT helicopter. Fine. It makes as much sense as any other version. Scary. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to close the rooms. Okay. So chicken dinosaur void That's GPT. It. GPT. You know what the problem with GPT is? It just doesn't roll off your tongue. It's just three letters that just don't feel right together. That's why I'm not oh. remembering it. GPT. Oh, then say something. You can change it. No, no, no. Wait, I mean, I'm talking normal. People are yeah. all talking about GPT and just like. Oh, yeah. Are you making play <laughs> dice, Cass? I'm sorry, what? Are you dice rolling a dice? No, I'm typing. Oh, it sounds like somebody going in a dice cup. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Again. There we go. Um, Susan, do you have the ability to share screens if we need to share a screen for when we go through our thing? Sure. Because you're probably much better at that than I would be for sure. Uh, I can't write fast enough to get all the the questions written down. Oh, I have to put them on a spreadsheet anyway. So, I mean, I can do that if you guys want it done that way. Mm. I it can be helpful for certain. Yeah, certain if you're trying to match something, yeah. 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 I'll just pull up a Word document and I can share some. <clears throat> That'd be fine. That's good. Okay. So, it depends on the category. Sometimes yeah. you don't need it, but. No. See, my, my iPad updated last night and the, this Zoom software completely changed. Oh, totally oh yeah. Changed. Oh, yeah. 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 I it looks nothing tonight. like what I'm used to. Yeah, I, I noticed tonight it, it's different. So oh, they different. must. Yeah. Last, last week it did a lot of weird things to a lot of people. The chat yeah. function was completely screwed. Wow. Yeah, some, something's all changed. Paul is going to be here in a little bit, and so will Deborah. Okay. Robin's not going to be here because she has a homeowners association meeting. Ooh, she's going to be fighting. Ooh. Okay. Bye, everybody. Okay. Okay. Bye this because society you know, unfairness of society and things like that it's like oof and Emma, and Paul are gonna be here Emily in Emily the criminal was that it I, I saw April's here where's April Let's look it up just in our room I'm looking at her on the screen I don't see her so Rob last night oh, at the hi April so good at to the see Bay you. Area April. skeptics pubs the huh? chat was acting weird again Oh, there she is. Oh, wow. She's up in the corner in the right. I remember. And one yeah, of the I, things, yeah. one the, of the, the one things that. Yeah. that happened last time, I thought, was that when we went into a room, the chat disappeared. It oh, wow. 
That's James what happens to me. That. I have the same. Anytime I get out of chat, it totally disappears. All the history, everything vanishes. James? Yeah. So there's Emily the criminal, uh, a link to it. Yeah, I got it right, Emily. It was really well acted, and I, I thought it was a really interesting story. Saddled okay. with James debt and out locked the, out of the, the job market, a woman gets involved in credit card scams and is soon pulled deep into the world of crime. And I can see I was, it happening to Vincent. As Lee. I was saying, uh, James, no. got, uh, James figured out the chat thing. Just by getting back on okay. Facebook, it yes. becomes a, a right -night criminal. Uh, James, if you, if you're are you there? About, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you uh, want to make that uh, chat problem go away, go to your Zoom settings on on uh, online, not on, not on the room here, and you can change it to the uh, uh, get rid of the new uh, chat chat settings or chat settings. Uh, they have an adaptation. Um, there was a, they made a change, and it didn't work right. So they, get, they have a fix coming on March sixth. They told me. So I changed it because James messaged me and I changed it on mine. So let's see if it's fixed because, you know, I'm hosting it. So hopefully it's okay. Yeah. Anyway. I changed it on mine and I just did a test and it worked when I went to the chat room. So do oh. we each have to individually change it? I wouldn't think so because I'm the one hosting, right? I'm not sure. We'll find out if it's a problem yeah. that we know what you got to do. But I don't even know if you can do it without... While while being in a Zoom room, yeah. settings you change. Yeah, you might have to log out and come back in. Hi, Hi Terry. Totally off topic. Does, is, Ke Hi. Is, is Kevin Mocker's background there still used anywhere? I know what it was, but <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I doubt it. Yeah. I don't they hear the national anthem. Episode. <laughs> Not even color. That. Technical difficulties. Hi, Karen. I, I saw you come in, but oh, there you are. Okay. Also, technical difficulties. Let's have somebody from a different uh, Richard. Richard Saunders in, in Australia. You're you're old enough, not quite as old as I am, but you you would remember when TV was just broadcast over the air, and in the U.S. at a certain time of the evening, then the, they would go off the air and they they would play the national anthem, and then there would be dead space. Is that what happened in in Australia? Oh, we can't can't hear you. Oh, the, you're muted, Richard. He's got seven <laughs> microphones. Pick one, Richard. Not one yes, they used to play the Star Spangled Banner. And we could <laughs> <laughs> That's what I imagined all over the world. Thank you for confirming that. There's, uh, there's, it's interesting when I was growing up. Yeah, that, I mean, networks used to close down at night and they'd play the national <laughs> anthem and um, just bzz, off they'd go. But in the days when they did that, our national anthem was God Save the Queen. So they used to play God Save the Queen. So there you go. Yeah. You know what? Oh. They, they should change it to that philosopher song from uh, Monty Python. <laughs> is it, is it God good. Save the King now? Yeah. No, it, no it, has, it hasn't been God Save the, the, the Queen for, since the early 80s. They officially changed it. I so, did not know that. So what, but, is it, what is it called? Parents Australia Fair is our national anthem. Oh. Does anyone know if in England though the anthem is God Save the King? Save the King. I'm sure they have. Well, they have to change all that stuff, I guess. Yeah. Actually, uh, it's now God, why didn't you save the Queen? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's yeah. a good one. Yeah, of course. Uh, it hadn't been God Save the King since early 1950s. Uh, let's 52. See. 30, 30, what? 50s? 53. That'd be a good line for the Cybermen in Doctor Who that they interpret this literally to save the queen. They got to back her up. <laughs> <laughs> We're got a lot of people here. Here comes Gail. <clears throat> and then Paula will be here and Deborah will be here pretty soon. So, dang it. Somebody. There's a lot of people. Yeah. It should be interesting. The three of us and three of us. Wait till Gil gets here. Your cat yeah. looks comfy, Bob. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Gil, are you here? Oh, no, wait, wait.
So what's new? <laughs> <laughs> How's anything happening in the world that's positive? Uh, <laughs> silent. <laughs> We're thinking deeply. <laughs> okay, somebody give us something positive that's happening in the world. The people that are alive are breathing right now. Yay! <laughs> out that's sad that that's where we have to go to get. Well, that's uh, that's inspiring. <laughs> how, how big of a news that's are you looking at? Bar is very low. Good news of some sort. Oh, like my, my husband helped dead or while I'm doing this. My husband made butter mochi for me to take to a potluck tomorrow. Well, well there you go. That's, good news. that's, that's very exactly. good news. That is people busy. in our town who were evacuated are now moving back in so they're they're cool. clear to move back in so that's nice that's good that's oh. positive here's gail uh your town which is what by sacramento oh, oh okay they had all that rain. Link for you, Rob. they had all that rain and stuff so that's that's good news yes yeah. COVID oh. cases are, are going down in Monterey County, oh, apparently. The, pan, well, I, the, the trip triple demic in triple, the United States, they were all worried about, didn't pan out, didn't have it. That's good news. <clears throat> oh, I got one you'll love personally. I, I broke my losing streak in Wordle. <laughs> <laughs> good. If you're, playing, if you're playing, that's a losing streak. Ooh right away you're already losing you're already losing you know i, I lost two in a row of, and i had never you know done what? that in the year losing, of been playing. i'm losing a lot of people's posts i'm not seeing that i used to see in the past it's really been weird i don't don't <laughs> hardly see that rob or or deborah or karen or a lot of people is posted anymore i don't know are you still posting on facebook they're just posting Wordle and you've hidden Wordle. That's the problem. <laughs> yes <laughs> no i've noticed that the same thing i haven't i hardly see Friends posts now. I don't know. I, I did see something on Facebook. The posts, so they changed their Facebook changed their algorithm for suggesting things. So that's possibly well. I've been going. hiding posts that are Wordle posts. So I don't know. Must I guess they're clearing the way so we can all see Trump's posts. I don't yep, know. Yep. <laughs> oh God, I can't wait. Okay, I guess since I'm still in charge, Rob wants me to still be in charge. Okay. So here we are, game 145, season three, episode 36, yep. the he says, yep. in this year, whatever day today is, the 26th of January, 2023. We have a lot of people in the room. We have a few more people joining us soon. We should, we should. Okay. So we've got on, on team number one, uh, Ben, Jim, Kyle, Saunders, Troy, and Vincent. What is your team name? We are fake scratcher tickets. <laughs> What's that referring to? Is there is there was there a, a fake scratcher ticket? Was that something only, that missed in the news? Only only on our room. <laughs> okay. I don't know. We were talking about um, YouTube uh, pranks, and that was one of the pranks. Okay. We found it particularly. A, a bad prank but anyway the name stuck okay so uh all right so carolyn james kevin ron mike wolf and gail will be on your team Yay. and our team name is our confidential answers are hidden in bill clinton's saxophone <laughs> <laughs> okay that's cute our confidential answers are hidden in Bill Clinton's saxophone. Very good. Any moment now, we're going to see who's who's next. We're going to hear that there's classified papers. That's what we should do is we should play a, a game and see who's, whose papers are going to turn. What household are they going to turn up in next? Is it going to be Lindsey Graham? Is it going to be? So, since I worked in a classified document yeah. environment, I've been getting texts from all the people I know saying, did you check your basement? Make sure you go through your basement. Stuff. <laughs> well, who's Sasha and Malia are next. Who? The Obama kids. Yeah. yeah. Did, yeah. Didn't Who's you hear, Susan? Now, huh? uh, U.S. citizenship now comes with a free uh, classified document to <laughs> store in your home. <laughs> okay, Alan. That's the best way to preserve those documents in case of a nuclear attack. They can't have every single home. Exactly. <laughs> you got to spread those things out. Framing. My answer was yes. I checked my basement, and uh, anything I found, I burned in the fireplace or flushed. 
That's oh, what yeah. I would be thinking. I'm gonna I love that. that one, April. Oh, George. Yeah. oh, I've seen this. April says, my favorite prediction so far is that President Carter will carefully <laughs> announce his confidential records in his heart. Oh. Or Pence is, Pence, he's going to say, mother has confidential <laughs> <laughs> That's next. Okay, so team three is Bob, Janine, Carrig, Ryan, Terry, April, and now you have Alan. I'm Alan? sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> when you're here, you're family. So I know Alan, it's finishing you just last. Join the family. No room, calls intended. <laughs> room three. Does it say room three? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it oh, says okay. room three. When you're here, oh, you're okay. family. I, I like I that. Didn't, I didn't Bob's, it. Yeah. Bob's family's been growing exponentially. <laughs> How many yeah. kids do you have, Bob? <laughs> well, he has about nine now. <laughs> We're all expecting it here. Oh, am I going to expect another so, child to show up? Six, I think. That'll be fun. Okay, so Christy, Carl, Faith, and Romero. Is Faith here? No, just uh, just a blank spot. Yeah, she's coming. She's I coming. see a blank. We're, we're all coming to your house to decorate that wall behind you, Romero. Uh, Faith, Romero, Zeke, and you have Karen. We are Julian Sands 411. Well, that one's uh, that one means as much to me as the fake scratch your tickets. Well, to everybody it's, it's, uh, uh, have you heard of the four one one missing conspiracy? Yeah, but yeah. Well, Julian Sands, actor Julian Sands, went hiking in the wilderness thirteen days ago and has not been heard from since. Oh, oh Kyle, yeah. were you aware of this? Yeah, yeah. I don't know who Julian it, Sands is. It's, it doesn't matter. It's mention mysterious. It. I don't think. Well, we that's what he gets for having a last name. Of, of of a Sands it might be yeah no he's a he's a, like a medium known actor and he, yeah he's he's sixty five years old and he's went hiking in the mountains outside Los Angeles and it, and is lost oh he probably wanted to be lost did, did, you, did you guys mention him last week no, no <laughs> he was but we lost he was still now, lost so. last week hey, Mike, oh he's maybe, from maybe, maybe he fell he'll be dead next week the water behind you. <laughs> Oh, poor guy. Poor man. <laughs> yeah. What's he been in that we might know? A uh, room review. The river behind Mike Wolf. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's, in, he's in Google. Oh. He's in Way Google. too soon. Never he's, heard in room, he's in a room with a view. He might be in Cuba that. or in like uh, France he's or something. Just, just got lost. Like Ben. See how Ben just walked in from the from the See how he did that? Go back and walk in. Look at Ben. Keep going. Keep going. They got him. There he is. Now see he comes in. They got him. That's that's ooh. So he's gonna walk in. Hi, everybody. Nice entrance. And he's gonna make his that's how he's gonna make his millions from there, from that. Okay, so the last team, which will not be last, Caspian, Jamie, Jane, Peggy. Rob and Susan. No, not me. I'm not on it. Oh, I did put you on it, didn't I? I was just reading off the thing. I'm just so used to. Okay, let me get you out of here. Ah, that feels good to delete. Yeah, that Rob. would be cheating. Rob can't be on a team. Caspian, Jamie, Jane, Peggy, and Susan. Okay. Oh, you're just write my name on there. Can 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 you read out what our name is, Jane or uh, Peggy? I didn't. I didn't write down the final version. It's got to be you, Susan. Jane has it, I think, right? Jane, do you have it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we came up with random names and we put them together. Uh, chicken dinosaur, Boyd, GPT helicopter. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. And we may change our name if we Damn, have that's the same name person. we used last week. <laughs> if we have that's another right. person join us on our team, it's we'll ask, we'll extend our name. It's like Trump's memory test. Have you <laughs> is it typed in? Yeah. Is oh. it entered? I, I can I can I can put it in the chat like everybody else does. Yeah, please. Chicken dinosaur void GPT. Oh, oh we God. you know what we could do uh, chat GPT. Write us a story about chicken dinosaur void GPT and helicopter, and it'll do it. Well, you don't want to mention GTP because that's GTP is using the chat. 
well, yeah. about, or I want one of those drawing pro pro programs, <clears throat> and you could put in chicken dinosaur helicopter voided, and see what it comes up with. <laughs> there you go. A It'll void. Come up with Wordle. It'd be a giant void, and all the chickens and dinosaurs and helicopters are going into the void, <laughs> like Ben did when he was walking out of. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have five teams. Our five teams tonight are fake scratcher tickets versus our confidential answers are hidden in Bill Clinton's saxophone versus when you're here, your family. Versus We're room three. We're including the room three oh, when you're oh. here. That's part of the name. Oh, I missed that. I'm so sorry. Okay, yeah. room three, when you're here, your family. Julian Sands, 411, and Chicken Dinosaur Void, GTP, GPT helicopter. So who will it be tonight? I'm just letting you know, I tend to be a bit competitive. Just, just saying, letting you know. Okay, Rob. But Susan's playing for real tonight. Good luck. Okay, so the five categories we're gonna to do tonight are all posted behind me there. Oh, I'm not in the screen, let's see. So starting with, from the upper left, we're going to do leftovers. This is Rob's leftovers specifically. So these are leftover questions from 10 of my previous categories. I think Carl did something like that once. Okay, so Troy. Better. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Troy. Question number one. From space travel, which was from February 18, 2021, the first question. Launched in 1958, Explorer 1 was the first satellite launched by the United States, and it is credited with discovering a region of dangerous radiation in Earth orbit. Who was the lead designer of Explorer's scientific instruments which discovered this phenomena? And I can't believe Leonard's not here. Are you writing in for it, Leonard? I knew. Be, Rob, would it be possible for you to put it in and then we could read along with you? Okay. That's helpful. Could you Thank please you. do it in pig Latin? Okay. Or at least, at least as a um, number two, voice. which is from Extraterrestrials, which I did on three eleven twenty one. Ancient Aliens is a long running documentary TV series which presents hypotheses of ancient astronauts claiming that historical texts, archaeology, and legends contain evidence of past human extraterrestrial contact. The show has been widely criticized by historians, cosmologists, archaeologists, and other scientific circles and skeptics for presenting and promoting pseudoscience, pseudohistory, pseudoarchaeology, pseudo everything. In what year did the pilot premiere? I'll give you plus or minus three on that. Question number three. This is from Conspiracy Theories, which was 4121. In the 1970s, the U.S. government allegedly ran a secret psychological warfare and time travel research project from an Air Force station somewhere in New York State. Name this project. Question four from one of my favorite topics from Flat Earth Belize. This is from 42221. Flat Earthers also believe NASA hoaxed the moon landings and that there are in fact no satellites in orbit because nothing can breach the impenetrable dome, which NASA proved with a nuclear weapon. So what do they believe the satellite dish your company placed on your roof is actually doing? Number five, from religions. This was from 52721. Name the religion with which these words are associated. Mary Baker Eddy, malicious animal magnetism, and reading rooms. Number six. Are they all from one or are they are they, they are all from one? Yeah. Number six from sci-fi planets, which was June 1721. Name the work of science fiction in which these planets are found. Magrathea, Ursa Minor Beta, and Vilvolde Six. Number seven. 
from the category on New Jersey from August 1921. What is New Jersey's most populated city? I left that one out originally because I thought it would be too easy, but we'll see. Number eight from Bible verses, which was from August 26, 21. According to Genesis, man and woman were created A, at the same time, B, one after the other, one from the other, and C, both A and B. Number nine. From my category, accidental inventions, from January 27, 22. The accidental invention of, I can't say the word, <laughs> Sionokrelate resulted when a team of scientists led by Harry Coover Jr. was trying to develop a material that could be used to build clear plastic gun sights for World War II. Under what trade name is this product now sold? And finally, number 10. From more time travel, one of Susan's favorite categories, from June 9th, 22. This film concerns Evan Treborn, someone who has experienced blackouts and memory loss throughout his childhood. In his 20s, Evan finds he can travel back in time to inhabit his former self during those periods of blackout, with his adult consciousness taking over his younger body. He repeatedly attempts to set things right by changing the past during these trips, but each time there are unintended consequences he discovers upon his return to the future. Okay. Any questions? Yeah, the number last 10 one, is it supposed to be the name of the film you're looking for? 10. Yeah. This film? Yes. Oh, okay. Just yes. Okay. That is correct. Yes. And Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Good luck. Do I push a button? Go ahead, Troy. Which one? I did it. Okay, okay. I gotta put these people on their on their groups. Um, let's see. Alan, you are going to go into room three. When you're there, you're bailing. Yale, you're gonna to go to our confidential answers are hidden in Bill Clinton's saxophone. And Karen, you are going with Julian Sands 411. Hi, Sagan. She's there and then she's gone. She's there and then she's gone. She's there and she's gone. Okay. Uh, I don't have access to the chat because my chat function is still screwed. So Susan, do you have the chat? You're, you're uh, there you go. Okay, I have only four. So um, do you want four me to- Four answers or four questions? Four answers. Do you want? Oh. No, we need to see the questions. Though. Okay, Can so, you put those up? Yeah, sure. Do you want me to just do a screenshot? Because we don't have any chat follow up. Uh, at least I don't. Uh, I don't know if Caspian does. I'll just. I have them all. Yeah. I'll do it here. So everything. And there's oh. everything functions normally for me. Oh wow! Can you see I mean, it's okay? intensely irritating sometimes, oh, but what was the what was the accidental um, inventions? Oh, uh, the antidote, this one right here, nine? Yeah. Okay. Can you hit F11, please? Oh, yeah, well, nine is super glue. What does that do? Nine is F11 nine is super clears glue. out your, um, some of oh, the- Oh, my desktop. Oh, very good. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to write that those. Down. Yeah. It made it bigger and got rid of all my other stuff. Okay, can you read that? So Susan, you want, you, you want to write on uh, number nine, super glue? Ah, a cyan acrylate. Yeah, a cyan acrylate is super glue. Oh, all right, go team for for number nine. Yeah. Yes. Um, number one um, is James Van Allen. What is it? James Van Allen. Allen. Oh, yeah, that's what it's named after. And Allen Belts. Ah, Van Allen belts, good. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, so do we know when was Ancient Aliens? 
a thing. No idea. Is that like 25 or 30 years ago ish? It's been a long time. It wasn't John. I, Van Donegan that was, may be too long. Was the 70s, but, right? And so this move, this probably came out in the 90s, wouldn't you think? I'd say 90s to, yeah, I, I think it's pretty okay. old. So we got to. I just realized the 90s were 25 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cass. Oh, that's too far, oh, except it might not be. <laughs> so what do you want to say, like 95, 98? What's our plus or minus on that? Three. And that's number, um, okay, number two. Can, is there a way to make that larger? Because it's really tiny and hard to read. Okay. Um, yeah. How about that? That's, oh, that's better, good. thanks. Okay, this is the question we're on right here, number two. Very nice. Um, so 25 years ago, Plus or minus three, huh? Yeah, this would, say, that would be 1998. 1998. So that gives really it that I like 98. That's that good enough. So that would be 95 to 2001. Ooh. Okay, so the, the conspiracy theory was the Philadelphia, Philadelphia project, project. And I've probably spelled it wrong. Um, and that's number okay. three. Yeah, from no, yeah. He's allegedly Three. ran a secret okay. psychological work for time travel research project from Air Force Station, mm. New York State. Great. Right. Somewhere in New York State, the Philadelphia, is it called the Philadelphia Experiment or Philadelphia Project? How about the Philadelphia Project Experiment? I believe it's the <laughs> Philadelphia Experiment. Experimental Project? I think it's just Experiment. Oh, okay. I'm I'm putting okay. it in just in case. He'll cover us. Okay, from Flat Earth. Now oh, I don't yeah. know. I've never heard of this. Does anybody what know? satellite dish do? What do satellite dishes do if you don't if there's no so spoke to the aliens? <clears throat> you were being spied on. So uh, if it's if it's on your roof and it can't communicate with a satellite. Because there's, it's got a dome over it. You're in a dome. You're in a snow globe. So what's it doing? So how do you rationalize that? I can't. <laughs> I can't go there. <laughs> how do you rationalize that? Right. I don't know. It's water collection. Um, maybe sunshine or fine, or maybe it collects um, rays of some kind, like reflecting something. Okay, I've got to go to a different screen. But but it can't reflect anything in the. In the sky, because uh, there's, there's um, Kevin. Up there. Kevin is on. Can you see the word Kevin? He's on to the second one. Oh, okay. Carolyn James Kevin. Okay, I gotta put him back in his room. Oh, where are you, Kevin? What am I doing? Oh, breakout rooms is what I need, right? Yep. Where are they? All the, everything went away whenever I'm in here. Oh, well, I guess he's in his room because somebody, he's not there. Well, let me see. Kevin. Yep, he made it in his room somehow, so I put him in there. Okay. Um, so this one's Christian Scientist, number five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Number six, I'm pretty sure that's Hitchhiker's Guide to the. Oh, yeah, Magrasea. Yeah. Yeah. New yes. Jersey. Is that Newark? I don't know. Yes, I think so. It I've seems like North North would be the one. Yeah. Okay. And that's what eight, was. Um, there's so many contradictions in, in Genesis that I think it's both A and B. It is, seems like if it's there, that would be the one. Yeah, because I know that they say that Eve was created out of Adam's rib, but I wouldn't right. be surprised if it's also there's a word verbiage in there that says they're created at the same time. Right. Okay, and super glue. And 10, time travel. Who's got it? The butterfly effect. <gasps> yeah. Oh, thank you. That was with Ashton Kutcher, huh? Mm. Yes. Never saw it. You sure didn't have that mm. guy, Sands? 
Okay, so <laughs> we need we need um flat earther and that's it. Okay, so what think like a conspiracy theorist, you guys. <laughs> So, so there are satellite, there are satellite dishes on your roof, but there's a glass dome. So it's, you can't get past it. It's in pet, in pet or in, you can't get through it. It's clear, but you can't get through it. So satellite dishes could be acting as, oh, I know. They, they, they make like a star pattern, like you put on your and you and it projects onto the dome it makes it look like there's stars there oh could that be i don't know Maybe. what you did before we had some Great stars. How, did, how did people yeah before we had before we had satellite dishes how do they see stars but that's logical and i don't know if that makes any sense yeah this this is just unbelievably stupid <laughs> Okay, can we have um, more ideas? <laughs> I don't maybe, maybe we should just put nothing that they don't do anything, and it's just a you know, it's just a, a <laughs> ruse that the company uses to charge you for it. That's about as that's almost logical. Well, it's um, very paranoid. Spying. And that might work for them. We've got to have something that's reflecting back on this. So satellite dishes are round, right? Yeah. And the sun comes in, hits the hits the satellite dishes, and the satellite dishes yeah. project round objects in the sky. Well, maybe they stuff. think they do just reflect like the, the radio waves that are bounced up to the to the dome and then bounced back to the to the satellite. That's dish. how we hear things. Yeah. I can try that. So okay. so just reflect off the dome. Okay, reflect off the dim. And it could be stars or radio waves, whatever. Hey. Yeah, whatever they're reflecting. Oh, this team rocks. Look at that. We might have 10. Yeah, we might not, but okay. we're very close. Good team. Do you want to rethink seven? Because it seems like Newark would be obvious. I know he said he thought it would be obvious, but is there another big city in Newark? I mean, in New Jersey? Jersey like, City's right. pretty big. Princeton, but I, I think Newark. I think that was the answer. Yeah, that's probably not a good one to second guess. Okay, you think it's Newark? But yeah, probably. Okay. Well, we did really good. Oh, wasn't Trenton? Wasn't that another possibility? Trenton. I, I don't want to say it though. Yeah, there's take, Trenton and Jersey City, and yeah. Uh, yeah. Stick with Newark. Who knows? Yeah. I don't know. And Trenton might be. Uh, all right. Well, we did great. Good job, team. Oh. It's just not a flavor that Australians are familiar with. I remember uh, four or five decades ago, I worked at a McDonald's in Ireland. And so, of course, they had root beer, but nobody bought it either because they thought it tasted like toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Faith. Sure. It can taste like toothpaste. Yeah, I actually didn't like it growing up, but. Uh, as I've gotten older, I've really developed a, a taste for root beer. Troy was all menu the same, bubbly, just like the Federation. Mm -hmm. All right, so Rob, let's have okay. It. We're ready. Uh, so, um, uh, by bouncing around a little bit, I think this was probably the easiest of the category that's going to be tonight. Oh, oh, easy. Fine. <laughs> People seem to do reasonably well. You didn't okay, come to our room. <laughs> that's true. Uh oh. Uh, oh no, that's right. I don't care because I'm not on your team. <laughs> <laughs> and besides, you can watch the recording later of our. That is true. Okay. Question one, number wait, one. Wait, wait, wait. Christy's Christy's coming back. I hear a cat. Okay, Christy's coming back. Okay. You're going to hear her screaming while I'm giving the answers here. Oh. All right, we're ready. I am. Okay. So, number one, the space travel question uh, launched in 1958. Explorer 1 found this. What is it? it? It was the Van Allen radiation belt named after James Van Allen. Yay. You don't have to know his first name. We did. I'll give you that. Okay. 
Um, number two is the extraterrestrial question. And uh, what year did the pilot premiere of Ancient Aliens? And I gave you a pretty good range. And it was 2009. Really? Uh, so so wow. that's from 2006 to 12 is acceptable answers here. Wow. Number three, uh, I heard somebody get a little confused about this, but they still put that on the right answer. Philadelphia Experiment is not the same as the Montauk Project. Um, but the answer is the Montauk Project. What? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Category was leftovers, and he already had the Philadelphia experiment. Oh, I don't oh your, remember your that. memory is too freaking good, Carl. But yes, I don't remember that. that is correct. In fact, in that other question, I mentioned the Montauk Project. <laughs> so I just called Montauk. M O N T A U K. I'll put all the answers in at one time when I'm done. Can we get a yeah. plus or minus four on number two? <laughs> No. I apologize, you guys. Right. You're thinking it was a Philadelphia experiment. Sorry. Decisions of the judges are final. Yeah. So number uh, four. This is this is a little tricky one, and it's not necessarily concrete. But if you evaluate this from what I've seen Fly Earthers say and what it's on their websites, you know they all have different opinions about everything. But the predominant opinion of what the satellite dish on your roof is doing, it's receiving TV transmissions from tall towers somewhere. Which, that's which not really... what I my flat earthers say. <laughs> I, well, my gee, flat it, earthers are better than your flat earthers. Well, gee, uh, <laughs> uh, given that they think there's an impenetrable dome, that should be reflections from the impenetrable dome. That's what everyone was thinking. Yeah, bro, but... do your research. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Number five. Uh, that is Christian Science. Mary hey, Baker Eddy. Hey, Christian founder. Science. <laughs> Uh, the the planet, the planets named in number six, uh, the one that gave it away. If I saw this, would be Magrathea. That is the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah. And the city in New Jersey with the largest population. So it's pretty close. The second largest was Jersey City at two hundred eighty-seven thousand, but the largest is Newark. Yes. yes. Thirty thousand. Hey. And that's we'll the most it. cheering you'll ever hear in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight. That's awesome. Yes, the very clear word of the uh, of, of God, who is not the author of confusion, actually has two stories, one of which says uh, the rib story, and the other one is, uh, let me quote it. Let's see, uh, where is it? Um, let us make mankind in our own image and our own likeness, so they may rule over the fish and the sea and yada, yada, yada. And so God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. So there you go. So the answer is not at the same time. Uh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. He also created her out of his rib. After. Yeah, that's what I said. That was the right. other one. So that's, that's the other one. So this is apologetics is according so to Rob. Correct. Okay. I have yeah. heard that uh, that the two stories is why some people believe in this Lilith character. That the Lilith was the first one. There, there is a connection there. I don't know; it's necessary, yeah. but there, yes, uh, that's true. You know, it, it was some sort of yeah. uh, uh, fan fiction to. Uh, um, there was an Eve before Eve. Uh, yes. The two stories. Yes. Lilith was a. Yeah. So if people don't know that there was a, there was Adam had a wife before Eve. Yep. And where do Adam and Steve fit in in all this? <laughs> uh, I just don't know who, where Cain and Abel got their two wives. So that's another question. Uh, um, okay. We don't talk about those things. No, I know. Like <laughs> Number Klingons, nine. The Klingons that look totally different from. There was a female there. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but the, the other option is 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 the, is unmentioned sisters. <laughs> that's what. That's what. Yeah. All right. Number nine. From accidental inventions, I heard two teams at least get this. It is either super glue or um, crazy glue. Yay, Jamie got it. Yeah. Apparently, uh, from I'll go with what Richard Saunders said. Good job, said. Jim. Uh, it's uh, it's called differently in Australia and perhaps UK, but it's the same stuff. And finally, the uh, movie with the sort of time travel in it, consciousness time travel in any case, was the butterfly effect with Ashton Kutcher in 2004. Good job, team. Oh, there he's got is. the crazy glue. That's from California, not Sydney. Hey, crazy glue. 
And here are the answers yes. all the time. Susan. Yes. Okay. So from the little I heard, bouncing from room to room, I'm thinking people got very high scores here. We were off uh, by Barnett. Uh, we didn't have one more, score. But... Okay, so scores. Here we go. So fake scratcher tickets. We got eight. Eight. Hey, so our, close to a nine. Our so confidential close. answers are hidden in Bill Clinton's saxophone. Six. 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 Room three, when you're here, your family. Seven. Seven. Julian Sands, 411. Nine. Okay. Did Chicken you get the dome one? Did you get the, the one with the uh, satellite this one? No, that's the one we missed. Yeah, well, I figured. Yeah. Yeah, like these flat earthers aren't smart enough to decide that it's reflections from the dome. Like, you know. <laughs> So our uh, chicken dinosaur boy GPT helicopter, I have seven. That's what I got. Okay. So, oh, I didn't think it was the answer. All right, so we're we're off on a roll. Okay, ready. Next okay. Time. Second category. It's weird with me doing parts and things. Okay. Second That's category. I wheel down on a. Is mystery theme celebrities. Oh boy. Okay, so um, I did this, let's see, in October, actually. And the results then were an average of 6.6 .6 and the range was 5.5. I'm actually gonna give you the list of the first, of the first set of answers. And I did not redo any of these people. All right, so there's a theme here may or may not be similar to the first theme of all of these celebrities. I will read you a description and you have to tell me who the celebrity is. Who's muting? Who's got the mutation powers? I forget. Joy. Okay. Somebody did it. All right, here we go. Question number one. So no complaints. See, they're actually a little bit long to give you as many clues as you can about the person, especially if it's somebody who's not possibly very well known. This is an Italian actress and director who has had roles in several of her father's films. She appeared in Triple X 2002, Land of the Dead 2005, Marie Antoinette 2006, Queen Margot 1994, Let's Not Keep in Touch 94, Traveling Companion 96, Last Days 05, Islands uh, 2011. She's a recipient of three Italian Golden Globes. After the uh, Weinstein scandal in 2017, she became a leader of the Me Too movement. In August 2018, the New York Times detailed allegations that she had sexually assaulted an actor, Jimmy Bennett, in 2013 when she was 37 and he was just 17. Turn about fair play. He was just 17. No. Number two. This American actor has appeared in many films, including Boys in the Hood, 91, A Few Good Men, 92, The Tuskegee Airmen, 95, Outbreak, 95, Jerry Maguire, 96. In 2016, he portrayed O.J. Simpson in the FX drama series, The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. Question number three. This is an American actress who played the young Allie McBeal in 2000. She rose to prominence at the age of seven for her performance as Lucy Dawson in the film I Am Sam, 2001, for which she received the Screen Actors Guild Award, making her the youngest nominee in SAG history. In 2006, she starred in a live action Charlotte's Web, which we just saw last week, by the way. In 2019, she played Squeaky Fromm in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Number four, this is the daughter of Melanie Griffith, who made her film debut at age 10 with a minor role in the film Crazy in Alabama from 99 with her mother. 
She had her breakthrough acting in an erotic film series from 2015 to 18 and received a BAFTA Rising Star Award nomination in 2016. Number five. This is an American actor and filmmaker. Throughout his career, spanning over four decades, he's received numerous accolades, including Tony Award, two Academy Awards, three Golden Globes. In 2016, he received the Cecil B. DeMille Lifetime Achievement Award. And in 2020, the New York Times named him the greatest actor of the 21st century. In 2022, he received the Presidential Medal of Freedom bestowed upon him by President Joe Biden. Number six. This is an American singer and songwriter released her debut album Acoustic Soul in 2001. She sold over 5 million records in the US and 10 million worldwide. She's won four Grammy Awards with 23 nominations, including Best R&B Album. Number seven. Adam Schiff just texted me. About? He texted Caspian earlier today. Oh he my wants gosh, money. Adam, Adam Schiff just texted me. He wants $25. Yeah, he wants money. Oh my God. Sorry, that just got me excited. Number seven, <laughs> this is the daughter of Kim Bassinger. Basinger, how do you say her name? Bassinger? Basinger? She started modeling and acting in 2013 and appeared in the film Grudge Match. She's a vocal advocate for animal rights and posed nude for PETA 24 years after her mom did. It's Basinger. Thank you. What's her name? Basinger. It's a, a hard A. No, 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 and I meant the daughter. Oh, I hey, hey. <laughs> smooth, Susan, smooth. This is an American guitarist, singer, composer, actor, activist, and humanitarian whose greatest commercial success was as a solo singer. He released approximately 300 songs, about 200 of which he composed himself. His music appeared in a variety of charts, including country music, the Billboard Hot 100, and adult contemporary, earning 12 gold and four platinum albums with his signature songs. He died in a plane crash. Number nine. This is an American stand-up comedian and actor. He's known for being one of the original cast members of the sketch comedy series, Mad TV. His films include The Replacements from 2000, Double Take from 2001, Evolution, same year, uh, Sergei Dufrik, The Vampire's Assistant, 2009, and The Time Machine in 2002, and Primeval in 2004. I have only seen The Time Machine of those. Figures. No surprise, right? And number 10. This American singer and actress is one of the best-selling music artists of all time, with sales of over 200 million records sold worldwide. She's the only artist to have had seven consecutive number one singles on the Billboard Hot 100 from 85 to 88. Her awards include 16 Billboard Music Awards and she was inducted into the Grammy, Rhythm and Blues Music and Rock and Roll Halls of Fame. Can't do better than that. Any questions? What was her name? Yes. <laughs> um, what is that first group of 10 names that you pasted before you got to question one? So that those were, I did the similar category with mystery themed celebrities. And those were the answers the first time. They all and had something in, in that, common. In that case, the thing in common was they all had city names. Oh, Bristol, cute. Bristol, right. Brooklyn, Dallas, Cheyenne, Dallas, Orlando, Paris. So this will be something. Something similar about them. Okay. I'm telling you what. Got it. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Right. Let's go to our team. Right. Go to your rooms. I will put the people in the rooms that I know are missing. So let's see. Jane, you are in my category, so you better get over there. Get, get, get. And Christy, you are in Julian Sands. Okay. It's funny how I can't see that. All right. Go to my room. They need me. Do you need me to show my screen again? Well, my chat's working. Yes. Jane, is yours working? What? 
Jane's frozen. No, she's there. Yeah, I know. Not, not here. here. Not here. It's not working in, in the Is room. It, here, I'll put them in. I, I'll put when in the I tried to leave the room, it wouldn't. I I was frozen, so I had to leave the whole. Yeah, I thing. saw. Where's yeah. the asking? Oh. I'm just putting them in the chat again. It'll be easier. Oh, yeah. great. Thanks. Caspian, can you see your screen okay? Thank you. Yes. Or can you see your chat? I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it's been completely fine. It's okay. never had any sort of issue that anyone else is having. All right. Well, I'm putting them, I'm putting the chat things back in here again because some people are having. Jamie, were you able to see the chat before I um, put it? Yeah, in? but but once I get out of chat, everything gets erased completely. Okay, so I'm going to just post them in here again and still sharing my screen. But what is it? Did you give a list? No. Okay, so who here knows any of these? Because I know zero of these. I know three. Okay, maybe that'll be enough to give us the yeah. <laughs> maybe. Um, and I have a I have a bell ringing on on the first one, but I can't come up with a name. So the second is Cuba Gooding Jr. And who? Cuba. Cuba Gooding Jr. So it's somebody with three names. Okay. And um, four, the daughter of Melanie Griffith should be Dakota Johnson. So I think like states or place names or something, because we've got Cuba and Dakota. And eight, is eight the, uh, the Kim Basinger one? No. No, seven. Okay. Seven is Ireland Baldwin. Okay. He's Alec Baldwin's daughter and, and Kim Basinger's daughter. So it's Ireland. We already know what it is. But didn't he do this before? Okay. I know. Just, the, the one he did before was all cities. And this the is cities, all yeah. place names, all but not necessarily cities. Place Dakota, names. Dakota, Ireland. Okay, so that's easy to These are children. These are children of celebrities then? Is that the theme? No, I think the theme is is places it's like names. Cuba, Dakota, Ireland. They're all places. Okay, not that that's gonna help me. Geographical places. I don't know. I don't help a lot, but actors or actresses. Let me see if I can think of anything. How about Tennessee Williams? Does that fit a category? No. <laughs> and it's not necessarily states. <laughs> it's not necessarily states. So the one that we should be able to get is six, which is the, you know, the great actor of the whatever. So if, the, if there's, so it has to be a, somebody with a place name, theoretically, if that is the right code cracker. Number um, six, the six. American singer songwriter whose debut album was Acoustic Soul in 2001. You know that cast. And is presumably female. Um, yeah, she. Okay. Oh, I was looking at five. So I have mine numbered wrong. So and I do not know who that is. So five is um, American actor and filmmaker, throughout his career, four decades. And he's been on the stage and he's been in movies and he's gotten Golden Globes, but he uh, he didn't, yeah, he put two Academy Awards. So who's won two Academy Awards? Oh, actor. How about Paris Hilton? No, not actor. Well, no, not for that, cat. for any of the answers. Oh, I don't I think he fits any of the answers. answers. So answers. I'm saying if I come up with a person's name. Oh, I see. Say, You're free associating again. Well, I don't have much else to help you any other way. <laughs> Does Paris Hilton hit any of these answers? No? I don't think so. So this first one, I don't know if any of you remember her name. It's something Dario or Daria or somebody Dario maybe. I'm sorry. I'm absolutely no help on this. I I don't know. Maybe, you know um, we'll think of people who are famous with names that have place names in them, like Tennessee Williams. Didn't Tennessee Williams play guitar or something? No, he was a playwright. No, but there was a Tennessee Williams Ford or something like that, wasn't there? A person Tennessee Ernie Ford. Okay. Did he play music? 
Yeah, but he he doesn't really fit any of these descriptions because he was only did country music. Well, was, was there somebody who died in a plane crash to do country music? No, no. Isn't that one of the questions? Yeah, the composer, yes. actor, <laughs> activist, humanitarian, greatest commercial success was as a solo singer. He released 300 songs, 200 of which he wrote, and he died. Who died in a plane crash? I guess that's the big clue here. Big bopper. Um, but I don't think he did that many. I don't think he had that many. And humanitarian, that's um I'm putting Deborah in our room. <laughs> maybe Deborah will get it. Yeah. All right, Deborah. We need Karen. I know she's in the other room. I'm gonna have to give these to Deborah though. Let me give her these questions over here again. Our singer, composer, act. He was an actor too. Okay. Wow. It wasn't Buddy Hall. <laughs> oh, um... Deborah, can you hear me? Oh, she's connecting the audio still. I'm just putting okay. that. I'm just putting the questions we've already. We we don't have an answer for in, in for her. Hi, Deborah. We need your help very badly. Oh, God, it's probably something I know nothing about. Okay, so I'm only giving you. <laughs> if, the if the people who are here already don't know the answers to anything, why? What makes you think I would? Because you have you, ha oh. you have that brain. You can do that. <laughs> could, could number eight. Could number eight be um, John Denver. Ooh, oh, let me see. I do know about Denver. John Denver. Let oh, and he see. was an actor. Good, good. That's a good get. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Deborah, I only yeah, yeah, that would be John Denver yeah. for sure. I only gave you the questions that have a that we haven't gotten an answer to. So ignore eight. And he died okay. right here in Monterey Bay, and it never occurred to me. <laughs> I was actually over there that day. I didn't see it happen, but I was actually uh -huh. over there picking my son up from his friend's house. <laughs> Deborah, really? so yeah. this is a mystery theater. This is a mystery category. So what they all have in common, we figured this out already, are people who have names that are places like Denver. Oh, okay. We have yeah. Ireland Baldwin, Dakota Johnson, Cuba Gooding Jr. So if you don't know the answer to these questions that I just put in the chat, can you help us think of more people who have names that are famous that are... Okay. Whose category is it? Rob's running Rob. everything, so I'm here permanently. Oh, oh, cool. Oh, how fun. Yeah, it's been fun <laughs> to get nice to know that I want to. So could number 10 be Whitney Houston? Houston, very good. Mm, that sounds right. 88, 16 Billboard, and she was an actress. Good. Rock and roll, I don't know if she was rock and roll, but it's a better answer than nothing. Well, Houston. It's brilliant. I think it's brilliant. Was her, her stuff was... I don't know, wasn't it? Yeah, I think when she was really popular, it was in the 80s. Well, you know, though, a lot of people's last names are places somewhere. That's how a lot of places get named. Get named, yeah. Well, we want common places and common okay. actors and stuff. Like well, I this is Rob's category. I like to point that out to him. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, see, number nine. charts, country music, for him. And platinum albums. Oh, well, we knew that one. That was ten, Would so, the okay. comedian, uh, I'm thinking, or La, um, Mad TV, something um, Orlando, Orlando. Oh, Orlando. That's right. The guy who played oh. in um, yeah, Bloom. Yeah, yeah, he was in, the, in the Tolkien yeah, thing. Yeah. I don't think he was in the what Vampire's is, Assistant. That was. Um, oh. He wasn't in that, and um, I don't know about primeval double take. Um, what's that guy's name? He was in uh, the one about the stepbrothers that, uh, I'm sorry, it was called Stepbrothers, I think. God, I can't access any information now. How are you guys doing? We hate you, Rob. We know the theme, but <laughs> unlike the last one, this is going to have a huge spread. <laughs> There's one team sitting there already done. Oh, well, who's Karen? really? Oh, they're already done. Karen. Who, who's on that team? Karen. <laughs> I'll tell you who's back. Oh no! No, they're I sitting in the room still. They're, they're chatting. chatting. They're not, they didn't go back to the main room, but they're done. Oh, Orlando Bloom was used in the last time. 
So it can't be him. Can't be him. Okay. Well, unless he's repeating. Yeah. Oh, and there's Paris Hilton. Jackson uh, Pollock. Does he fit? There's Jackson. But that's he's a painter though. He's not an actor. Yeah, I'm just coming up with people. You you guys yeah. know they fit. Oh, what about the actor of many films? Oh, I'm sorry, the one that's really super decorated. What number is that one? I can't see these very well. Five. The American actor um, filmmaker Denzel yeah. Washington. Oh. Denzel. Presidential oh, Medal of maybe. Freedom. It fits. Oh, yeah. It fits is so that's five. Okay. God, Peggy, you're you're doing it. Well Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington. All I'm doing is agreeing whenever. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Alec McBill. Who played I, Alec? I just McBill? saw her name recently in some article about something else, and that referred to the woman who played Squeaky Fromm in uh in that film and i can't remember who it was was it it was like a redhead right squeaky from was a redhead wasn't she um skinny thing just a really a <laughs> really looking thing um mckenzie phillips no, she's way too old to play squeaky from yeah Ally McBeal. I don't know if I ever watched that. Well, this seems to have been a, a rehash because it because the year on it um, is two thousand. And Ally McBeal wasn't that that was maybe that was yeah, about that time. Yeah, was it really? I thought it was. Yes. Old. Have you seen it, Cass? No, but I remember the previews for it. But she didn't do the other things. The Ally McBeal, the main. It would have been somebody who played Ally as a kid or something. Yeah, I, I vaguely remember something about this, but I don't I don't follow. I, I barely know the name of the actors in the movies that I really like. Me too. So so number three, it says she played the young Allie McBeal. So she didn't play the main yeah. character anyway. Well, she yeah, played, and at uh, the age of seven in 2001, she was in a different film. Eight. So she would be how old now? 20? Mm, probably 26. almost 30. Huh? <clears throat> yeah, somewhere. So a 26, you said? Yeah, about there. Okay, so a female actress who's about 26. She would have been a skinny, skinny thing. Mm -hmm. They're all skinny, honey. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> wrong. She would have to be um, okay. She started in the live action chart, so I have no idea. And her name has something to do with a state or a city or a place. Hmm. No, there's no Dallas's, are there? <clears throat> well, we had that in the, he put that in the, it was on the list for the last category that he did like this. Oh, At the very beginning, he listed there. those. Okay. Um, that doesn't mean it's not, it's just less like True, true. Um, this Italian actress wasn't um okay, he's got her going back to 1994. So it isn't the woman I was thinking of. Um God, what was her name? No, she's way too she'd be way too old. But I vaguely remember this. The woman, she was a she was a Me Too movement person. And then she was allegedly assaulted some other guy. And this is just really recent. Oh, it says 2013. Oh, it came out recently. But it, the the they're saying it happened in 2013. Who was that woman? It she was like one of these people who was always like, oh, I'm so good. And then this allegation against her, and everybody's like, <clears throat> was um. Um, Italian actress. So I wonder if her name is like an Italian play. Gina Lola Brigida. <laughs> there is there a place called uh, Lola, 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 Lola. Lola. She could be. She's probably um, 
you know, like Florence would be way too old fashioned of a name for somebody who's still alive, even. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she just passed away. She just died. We didn't kill her, though, so. <clears throat> no, too, too late for that. Her father's films, Spielberg. Um, oh, uh, yeah, she wouldn't necessarily have the last same last name, though. They, a, lot of, a lot of times they do that so they don't get accused of borrowing. Okay. Who's the father fame. who could have had a lot of films? How about what's his face? The old. I think she face. really means Italian, Italian. I think it's really somebody who's Italian, not Italian American. Okay, so it says she's been in several of her father's films. Could one of these movies, Land of the Dead, Marie Antoinette, Cream Margot, let's keep in touch. Could that be the name? Could you think of the director who did that? One of his films? Mabel, no. Florence, Venice. Um, Venice, hey. Como. <laughs> hmm. uh, uh, do, those, do those movies mean anything um, to anybody? <laughs> I don't think I saw any of them. Um, so what did we get? Does somebody have the two? I don't have anything for one. Five, we got two, seven, and eight. Four, five. I mean, it's seven, not embarrassing. And ten. Do we have eight? Yeah, we have eight. That's, That's John Denver. Denver. Okay, so yeah. we have so we have seven yes. and eight. And five, and four, and two, and ten. We so that's one, one, three, six. That's six, I think. And nine. Yeah, we got six so far. So American Singer, this is six. American Singer and Songwriter released her debut album, Acoustic Soul, in 2001. Solar of five million records. Or Grammy Awards. So somebody who has been around for 20 years. Donna Summers? No, that's not got doesn't fit a no, that's that's not recent enough. So it's somebody She's... more like I don't know. Rita Franklin. Tracy Chapman kind of era. Well, Tracy, there's a city called Tracy. I don't know if that would be good enough, but. Um. <laughs> Rob's never heard of Tracy. Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee it. <laughs> but it's an answer, so we could put it down as an answer because we don't have an answer. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's probably someplace in New Jersey. Best R&B album. New Jersey? Why don't we Are they getting easier or harder? I can't remember which way you said it's going. <laughs> I, did, I didn't see the timer. I didn't realize we were coming back already. Right. I'm in the middle of the sentence when it get jerked back. I was kind of rude. <laughs> two minute, two minute warning I had. I know. There. Okay, so here we go. Um, let's see. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Yep. I'm not going to make it full what? screen because because then I can't see my uh, my file with the questions in it. I don't like the way this works. Um, let's see. So the first one, which was the Italian actress, and I didn't expect a lot of people. Oop, Janine bounced out. She's coming back for some reason. Okay, I got her. Yeah, all right, you got her. Yeah. Okay, so can people see that? I have it partly yeah. obscured. <laughs> okay, so the first one, the Italian actress is Asia Argento. Oh, I've never gotten that. And if people hadn't gotten the theme, these were actually all leftovers from my first time. I wanted to stick with cities the first time, and these people had some cities, but also other place names like countries and continents. So there you go. This is a mixed bag of just they have place names. So Asia Argento. The number two, which is the actor who played O.J. Simpson, I do recall watching this, and I think it was very good, is Cuba Gooding Jr. Oh, at least we got that one. Number three, uh, this was the uh, young lady who did a really nice job in Charlotte's Web. I am no longer oh, afraid Dakota. of spiders. Oh. The coat of fanning. Uh, number four, we get this second Dakota in the list. Since there are two Dakotas, we got two Dakotas. Dakota Johnson. And, and which she... one is north and which one is south? <laughs> <laughs> so 
uh, her last name. Yeah, so she played a young child, Allie McBeal, in uh, in several episodes of the season. Rob. Yes. Do we need her last name? Yes. Otherwise, yeah. that would make any sense. Yeah. It could be the other Dakota. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's also Tippy Hedren's granddaughter. Ah, nice. All right, number five. This is uh, the uh, amazing accolades um, for this person, right? The greatest actor of the 21st century. Uh, anybody get this one? Denzel yeah. Washington. Yes, he did. Peggy got it, or Jane. Very good. Number six. I, I would bet a lot of money nobody got this one. I have never heard of this person, but we'll see. This is American singer songwriter, released W album. Uh, yada yada sold over five million records so you know not not a, a nobody but i don't know this person in the uh oh, yeah. anybody get that know who she was. Mm -hmm. anybody get it yeah we know who she was. all right very good i couldn't remember her name no idea all right number seven She's wonderful daughter of kim basinger and baldwin started modeling yada yada Posed for PETA, and there's the pose actually. Ireland, Whoa. based in Baldwin. Ireland. Oh, okay. Number eight. This was sorry, sort team. Of, couldn't get that first name. Number eight was sort of a give me, I think. John Denver. Mm -hmm. Yay. Mm -hmm. Did you just cheer for a dead John Denver? <laughs> no, I don't cheer like that. that we got it right. They <laughs> cheered for a John Denver who happens to be dead. They didn't cheer mm. because he's dead. Mm. Well, he died oh. in our town, so all right. Number nine. So number nine, uh, a lot of roles for this comedian who started off on Mad TV. And I loved his performance as the uh, AI that survived uh, mm, hundreds of thousands of years, somehow still working in the time machine, Orlando Jones. No, I did. Never heard of him. <laughs> And, and this is when uh, the time traveler who has his back to you is is asking the, the AI in the library about time travel. And he actually pops up on the far right there is the first movie, The Time Machine, with the actual <laughs> images from the movie, which was kind of funny. And finally, this one, everybody better have gotten Whitney. Well, uh, but I would never have gotten it on my own. No. Wow, she looks skinny. Best selling music artist of all time. Jeez. And that's it. I'll put the answers in the chat. Okay. There we go. Paula says she's not going to join us. She's got a headache. Oh. Okay. So let's go with our, our, um, Oh, no, I'm not trying to chat. I'm trying to screen share voices. And I am really zippy of my brains today. Okay, no excuse either. Our confidential answers are hidden in Bill Clinton's saxophone. Eight. Okay, room three. When you're here, you're family. Four. Ooh. Family. All right, chicken dinosaur void GPT helicopter. We got six, I think. That's your team, Deborah. Yes, I see that. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for your We're still in the lead. Uh, we got five. Julian Sands, 411. And? <laughs> yeah. Ah. Yeah. And we charged into second place. Ten. Okay, let's take a look. Everybody look your best. Or try at least. <clears throat> yeah. I also write the advertising. I just came up with a great new slogan. Second. There we go. Make sense. Sorry. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, ready? One, two. Wait, wait, I need my chicken. Edgar's gotta be here. Your chicken. One, two. Smile with me. One, two, three. Burk, 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 burk. Uh, wait, I didn't get it. Okay, wait, wait. One, two, three. Wait, wait, why is it a good oh. oh, I'm I'm hitting the wrong. Okay. Really seriously, I got it this time. One, two, three. Cheers. 
Can't get the okay. cat to pose any longer. Okay. Hurry it up. No, it's probably hitting F twelve. Poor kitty. <laughs> what I was doing is I was putting, I was using a different screen, and I was, oh, I was putting the, oh. the solitaire button instead of this. Okay, button. no more charging the cat. No. Okay, so it's twenty twenty three. All right, um, oh one twenty six. All right, five minutes. Troy, um, wait, before anybody goes, is anybody not going to be here next week who would be willing to look at Troy's category before Troy does their category next week? I will not be here next week. Kevin won't be here. Kevin, will you look at First Troy's time category? I won't be here in, since I started. Wow, what's I happening? Wow. That's so important. I'm going, going to, to Daryl's house in Connecticut, in New York. Well, maybe you could him. invite him. You could pop so, in just for a minute to just... Keep your uh, <laughs> Keep yeah. Your I probably goal. could. I probably could. So, uh, Kevin, could you and Troy exchange information so that you could look at Troy's category and answers and questions, and then we'll hold you responsible. Okay, if you suck. I'm to blame. <laughs> and then you have me down for a category for next week, right? Uh, let me look. I think so. Um, Troy, where are you? Are you on the screen? yeah so Troy, with the mask on one of the things a lot of people run into if they don't do this often is the problem of getting from their word document or whatever copied and pasted into the chat so that might be that's one of the things people always stumble with whenever they do it for the very first time so you might practice that and I, i'm doing something what was i doing i feel like everything's off like i just sent you my email Okay. Ditto. And uh, Kevin, I think uh, Avi is going to take your place next week. Cool. Ooh, how is that possible? Uh, he's, uh, he and Sarah are going to be here for a couple of weeks. So they're I coming. I saw they're together, aren't they? Yeah, they're in, uh, well, they're, they're in Scotland now. They were in, uh, in, in, um, Switzerland. They, they were in Germany, then they were in Switzerland, and now they're in oh Scotland. My God, I hate them. <laughs> I don't hate them, but what was, it feels like there's something I was supposed to be saying or doing. Oh, oh I was we're, looking to see we're, Mike's we're on right. next week, right? That was one of the things I was doing. Mike, yes, you are fourth. I have Jamie, Troy, Vincent, Mike, and Gail. Sound good? Okay, so yeah. three yeah. more minutes. I'll, I'll be right back. I'll try to make my category as hard as I possibly can. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, trying to think, I'm trying to figure out how Mike can possibly keep I'll his arms up off. there. For the whole night. Bye, Bye Jim. Bye. Have a good night. Good night. Mike, how do you keep your arms up in the air for a whole night? Huh? Uh, it's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, I, I don't know. I've got, somehow it, it takes my chair out with the green screen. Well, obviously, obviously, his arms are floating on that river. That's what I say. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm floating on the floaty thing. Yes. Anyway, bye. They're doing drugs next door, sadly. How do you Tell know them that? to come over. <laughs> uh, put them on screen. Tell them to help you out. Are they doing uh, them sadly, or are they sadly doing them? Well, it's in this building, you're not supposed to be doing okay. drugs, but they do it I anyway. Think every building, you're not supposed to be doing drugs. <laughs> <laughs> this is, it's Canada, you know, it, different Canada. roles. Canada that's, that's where I'd be next Thursday. I mean, but uh, Daryl's house in Paul, New York. So I should write an old email to the building management and still doing drugs. How do you know they're doing drugs? I can smell it. Oh. So call the cops. Yeah. No, I can't call the police. They won't do anything. I wish I could. Seems to be gone now, so. Throw a bag of Doritos in the backyard, lock the door. And they'll run out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I live in an apartment building, so. You All could these... try cooking some fish to get back at them. Oh, I wish. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, I heard that. Uh, I heard that they're getting kicked out anyway. So. Oh. Yeah. How old are they? Young. Young 20s. people. Yeah. And they have a well, child. Oh, really? That's not good. I don't yeah, care if people well, want to. That's the kind of building that I live in. So. Uh, mm. Sucks. But with the uh, new management, they uh, do not take uh kindly to drugs as soon as they find out someone's doing drugs uh they get turfed hmm. hello yeah. team hello peoples ron please tell your cat i love them i'll tell her <laughs> that's not a cat that's his beard that's <laughs> cute okay you guys so here we are again. I've got a piece of pizza. Oops, my video's not on. How did that happen? All right, so we're almost back. Let's do our let's do our stuffy stuff stuff. So Kyle, are you here? No, he's in the house. He's probably around in the house. Um, Rob, you have anything? Are you there? Yeah, I do actually. Um, let's see. So it was kind of a busy week. I actually had an article published where I interviewed uh, Dave Warnack, who may oh, good be article. known from Atheist Experience, and uh, he goes to uh, Atheist and Humanist conferences and speaks because he's a former evangelical minister who is now uh, has an ALS diagnosis. So his life is uh, shorter, or at least he knows it's going to be shorter than most of us. So he, he speaks about death and dying and you know mortality from a non-religious perspective and i also got to talk to uh the philadelphia association for critical thinking this last weekend about the great australian psychic prediction project that oh, might wow. be the last time i do that so i'm going to put both links in there and it was a pretty good video they did of it thank you susan okay yeah really good that article was wonderful uh the death and dying i don't know if, why did my video keep going off uh, somebody messing with me. Somebody's messing with me. Oh, and I submitted an article, which I don't know if it's going to come out this week or they're going to wait for February for the AIPT Science and Skepticism, which they usually do for February for Darwin uh, month. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was on the Great Australian Psychic Prediction Project and just generally the, the bad track record of psychics. So uh, that will be out shortly. That's great. Looking forward to that. Um, Gail just had, a... Gail's here? I mean, I know she's here, but is she on right now? Yeah. Uh, yes, I'm on now. Oh, there she is. So Gail just did something today, just minutes ago. Tell Gail, Gail tell everybody what you just did. I, with Susan leading me through, I did my first real edit, adding a link. On Wikipedia. Oh, yay. And, um, nice. Tell, Very tell good. them what it was. Tell them it, was, it was the interview that Rob had done with <laughs> Nysak. Bob Nygar. Oh, yeah. oh so, where did you where did you so whose Wikipedia page did you put it on? On Goop. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh <laughs> yes, because he talked about the episode. Very so good. So he idea. just so she just made her very first very edit good idea. on the Goop Wikipedia page. So that's <laughs> she's yeah. For so for people who who don't know the story, there the Goop Lab was a, a six episode. Uh, you know, short series on Netflix, basically promoting Gwyneth Paltrow and her company. And every episode had a different theme. And one of them was all about how mediums are real. And I had the, the detective who deals with, you know, the problem with people being taken advantage by con artists, by psychics, look at that. And he made a really nice, you know, article talking about how bad that was. So that was great to put that on there. Good idea. Yeah. So Gail, so Gail just did it just minutes before I said, all right, Gail, we've got 15 minutes before trivia starts. I got to go. <laughs> but I, I, I felt absolutely delighted when it worked and <laughs> when I go to number two, I'll remember everything I learned. So, <laughs> so, so Gail, when you get a chance, put, put the link in the, in the chat to that article. To the article or to the uh, to the goop to the Wikipedia page, yeah, to the okay, Wikipedia. It's like Wikipedia. citation one hundred and twenty three, I think, if I remember correctly. It's fun. Um, Carolyn's almost got a almost done too. Carolyn, you're within hours of finishing. Really training. Very going, Carolyn. 
Yeah. She, she she was frustrated by something today, and we've all been there where you just one little error, it'll frustrate the hell out of you. In the last two days, I've spent, I would say, close to four hours <laughs> just trying to do the citations, and I was just like. When I, my last message, when I said I was going to take a break, I mean, I was this close to tears. I was oh. just like, I'm Ooh. walking away from it for now. <laughs> so. Well, just so you know, we all do this, even if we are years of experience, we're constantly doing. That's why we're at GSW as a team. If you yeah. really get to a point where you're stuck, just walk away and give it to somebody else to figure out because it's probably just a missing comma apostrophe an extra bracket or something like that and you could stare at it all day and it's not gonna pop up so that's that's fine we're all there and it's just that frustrating Susan, at it. Mm -hmm. is um is finishing the one article the last of the training the one taking a article from uh when you're done with moons moon, moon, moon gardens, moon gardens. Yeah. yeah there you finish that and then you give it to the cabal to, to look at and they go through it and give you suggestions and while it's in the cabal then you have two up there's some more lessons to do there there's like two hours of lessons and oh, they're okay. not even they're not even doing anything it's just reading and understanding and, and uh, watching some videos and then you come okay. back to the cabal take their suggestions publish it and you're out of there so you so very close carolyn is right there I'm hoping to have it done, but uh, somebody started editing the Scientology article and they must have put 400 edits in there. And here I am every night spending like six hours going through the latest hundred. And I've done that for several days in a row. And you I'm know like, what, Troy? Take Scientology pages off your watch list. <laughs> your oh, no, I'm training. This is somebody who put them back on. <laughs> Yeah. Look, there's so a this, lot of editors who are probably watching the Scientology pages. Let them do the let them do it. No, they're they're not. This is um the the article has been so out of date for so long, and somebody's putting an honest um effort in working on this. It's like I can't imagine working that fast, putting in a hundred edits in one day, and each one is cited to uh, some book I don't have. <laughs> They probably have them all on a Word document and they're just copying, pasting, copying, pasting. <laughs> They've already worked out. The yeah. So I've been, well, okay. I, I've been participating with it and telling them when they get it wrong, you know, uh, and fixing some of it and others like, look, you're the main editor here. You, this is the reality. Make, make it go like that. But they seem to have slacked off because they only did seven edits yesterday instead of a hundred. Well, ninety-seven <laughs> the night before. Oh my God! Well, you know what? It's just. But, I, but I'm planning, planning on having Moon Garden done, done within twenty-four hours of being available. So, are you saying Scientology isn't real? <laughs> it's a real thing. Yeah. Totally kidding. It is a real thing. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Kyle, are you back yet? Indeed, I am. Yeah. Okay. What's going on with Data Skeptic these days? Well, I hear we have a survey too. We do, yeah, and we would love for anybody who hasn't yet participated to check out survey.dataskeptic.com. I'm asking listeners for feedback, and then you get kicked into some other surveys. If you take them, you get to see the results, and we report on some of those surveys on the show now. Uh, and then I talked to a researcher this week who looks at the question of can you conduct a survey via a chatbot. And maybe you get different results or maybe you don't. That's what he wanted to look into and get to the bottom of. So more about the research methodologies of surveys this week on Data Skeptic. Put the link in the chat too. Will do. Hey, Saunders, I hear you have a podcast. Some yeah, I thought I'd try it, say. you know. <laughs> some people say. Coming up on this week's episode of The Skeptic Zone, I report on a flyer that I found in my letterbox, which I will share with you all now. Uh, you say a fly in your litter box? A flyer. <laughs> flyer. He said a fly Does that work? in your litter box. No, he said a flyer. Fly. Can people box? see that? There it is. Yep, uh, we so got it. Conspiracy leaflet in my letter box. From one world government to COVID-19 and HARP and much hey. more. Besides, we examine a small leaflet that's been left in letter boxes around Sydney suburbs. 
Also this week, we have the Australian Skeptics Newsletter written by Tim Menham and read by Adrian Hill. Return of the Book of Tim. And this week, Tim does a review of a creationist, uh, an anti-creationist book called Creationism and Australian Perspective. And Trove this week looks at references to the 1990 Australian Skeptics National Convention. That's all coming up at skepticzone.tv. I was quite amazed, Richard, when you were reading from Trove the last time from as recently as I think it was late 80s, Australia was, you know, really letting the creationist thing happen. Oh, yeah, creation science. That's that right. Was quite, quite yeah, yeah, that was in um, the deep north, Queensland. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, so by the way, Richard, ni nice job on the uh, Harriet Hall tribute in the podcast. Oh, yeah. The week. Oh, yeah. Yes, very good. And Adrian. Adrian and, and yeah, uh, yeah. together. They put that together in a few hours. That was incredible. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's the best because when you do it fast like that. <laughs> yeah, and, and then you know when she died, I remembered that I was the first person to to interview her for anything like that. So I'm glad I still have the, a copy of that. And it's interesting that you mentioned that, Richard, because I wrote the skeptic, I wrote the obituary for Harriet Hall for Skeptical Inquirer in print and and uh, on um, online, and it should be here tomorrow or Monday the tribute I made and the first words out of it are Richard Saunders in 2007 interviewed uh, Harriet Hall on a podcast and that's you're the opening line so I um, used your I used your because uh, you know when you're writing a story I don't know if you guys are like this too but I'm writing an article I spent I know I want to write this article but I in my mind how do I start how do I start how do I start that's how I get I want to just come up with my opening lines and then so I was listening to the podcast with the tribute that you and of her interview in 2007. I was on that cruise. Um, it were. Yes. I was even more passive of a, a, a skeptic than, it, than anybody there. I was just sitting in a chair with Sterling and we we're waiting, winning that contest that they had. And it was just inspiring what you guys said. And it reminded me of her career and how, well, anyway, you guys can hear the, read the article when it comes out probably tomorrow. Um, I've been going back and forth with Barry about what to call it and like what photos to use and stuff like that. And it's, so I saw there was another, um, Carl's another photo was gonna be article the about her, which was like more in depth about like just it stuck to what she, she had accomplished, right? That was uh, Bill Bill London's article. Okay. Mine is a personal thing. Okay, that's good. Good. They Karen. decided they would use both ours because his was more factual, resume like, and mine is more personal. Nice well, idea. Anyway, I have another article coming out next week. Hey, Susan, yeah. well, I've got you. Are you going to be home during February? You coming up here? Maybe. I'll Maybe. let you know. Okay, let me know. I think so. So, all right. Now, here's the other thing, you guys. I'm doing a series of workshops. I did my first one yesterday. Robin There's one Saturday, there. right? Yep, Saturday. And I really enjoyed myself. <laughs> it's two hours. It is a hands-on, you have to be uh, there. And and I am speaking half the time. The rest of the time is all workshop people. And I'm like on it. And we finished right on time. I had a really good time. I recorded it. The video is up on Facebook. It's also on my YouTube site. And the one I did Wednesday is the one I'm doing Saturday. It's the exact same one. I'm willing to do these workshops. There's three I've written. I'm willing to do them anywhere. If you guys say I can get a group of maybe 10 people together or so that I can guarantee will show up. I will do it as Zoom pretty much any time you guys want, if you want me to. But we are looking is, for people. Hmm? Is the Zoom link the same link as on here, though? No. I'll have no. to give it to you. Okay, because I didn't get it. So I couldn't join. Uh, okay. Well, let me know and I will do it on Wednesday. Okay. So, uh, I mean, on Saturday, I'll yeah. send it to you. So, well, okay. here, I'll give you my email address. Oh, oh please do. Because that's right. You're not on Facebook. Karen's going crazy. That's right. I am not on Facebook. Yeah, she's, she's <laughs> rocking out. So Deborah and Karen have been to my in-person ones and Mark, Mark Edward too. And now I'm doing the online ones. So uh, Christy, where are you? You still are. She's in the kitchen somewhere. So oh, there it is. You should okay. have it. Got it. Susan, can you put that link on the on in the chat so we can all copy it? Sure. For my uh, Zoom 
It's about time. For Saturday. Okay, what time so on Saturday? It's from California time. It is 11. 11. Let me find it here. 11 to 1 California time, specific Pacific time. Oh, so it would be 12. It'd be 12, to, 12 to 2, your time. Period. 12 to 2, my time. So if these work, I and you guys enjoy them. I will do them all the time, and I will write more. But I, mm -hmm. I hope they're working. Christy, are you there? There's Christy. Christy, slow down a minute and talk to us. Christy attended. <laughs> she had some really good responses. What'd you think? Some yeah, it was great. I'm, I'm looking forward to the next topic. Um, I enjoyed myself. I was surprised that even with the few of us that were there, like hopping in and out of breakout rooms that like it wasn't awkward even if it's just one you and one other person um it she didn't give us as much time as we would like to some of the time which is great because it kept us moving along <laughs> yeah okay. i didn't look, there was otherwise otherwise we would chat and chat you know i was trying to keep it to two hours and the only way i could do that was get in there and get out <laughs> yeah it was it was perfect i thought the timing was right yeah, thank you, Christy. I got some great feedback. So the video is up. Rob, you were there? Yes. You think it's okay? Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I expressed my opposite opinion on what okay. Christy just said at the time. I thought we should have had at least one more minute, but yeah, and it felt Rob's, it felt ex it felt extremely it felt extremely pressured and for two minutes to answer everything we were doing. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to do it if I have a group of 50 or something, but I'll, so I'll, jo I'll join, but you'll need to send me the link. Okay. Susan. Well, I just, it's in the chat right now. Yeah. No, not because I don't get the link from Facebook. Oh, 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 oh okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. gotcha. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Karen needs yeah. an exorcist again. Okay. So is that it, everybody? <laughs> Oh, I have one more thing. Uh, so exactly three hours before next week's trivia game, I am interviewing, uh, well, an entity. Some some people refer to him as God, but more polite people just call him Mr. Deity. So if anyone's a nice. fan and has any questions, uh, send me them because I haven't worked up what I'm going to talk about yet. Yeah, he's he's cool. Brian Keith Dalton. Look for that, you guys. He's great. How in the world do I send this? All right, I'll send it to you. I've got it open here to do, but for some reason I'm not seeing the link. Oh. Okay, right. we ready? Ready? Yeah. I'm, I'm ready. Oh, we had a, somebody join us. Who just hmm. joined us? Hmm? Somebody joined us. Who was it who just joined us? I, I remember seeing who came in. Well, I came oh, in. Oh, Jane. Jane did. Jane and Morgan. So Jane is going to be on the team with the lowest score, which is room three. When you're here, your family. Mm. So Jane, your family. Okay. So you're about to join a family. <sighs> okay. Not so a cult. It's not a cult. I'm here to save the day. So they too. say the family is a cult, actually. Um okay, so <laughs> round three is another mystery theme. Uh oh. Yes. So this, this one is a set of unrelated seemingly <laughs> questions. And uh, they all have uh, something in common, which it'll it may or may not help you if you figure that out before you come to the end. Okay, muting yes. people. Who's muting people? Okay, here we go. Number one, Mark Warner and Tim Kaine are this state's U.S. senators. These are much shorter than the other one. Number two, if you are this, you are supposed to believe in transubstantiation. Number three, this is the surname of the actor best known for his roles in Father Knows Best and Marcus Welby, MD. Number four, this is a 2021 film directed by David Eckle and starring Mel Gibson. The characters include Dylan Forrester, a psychopathic former assassin, Cole, a mercenary, Agent Shaughnessy, and Sheriff McCoy. Number five. 
The film was nominated in two categories at the Golden Raspberry Awards. Something you don't want to have happen to your work. Number five, this is the name for either the material or the items created from it, often used in buildings of worship. Number six, in a particular Christian denomination, this is the final of three rites of initiation into the faith. Number seven, Duncan McDougall ran experiments and concluded that this weighs 0 0.74 ounces. Eight, ID proponents, that's intelligent design, claim that evolution is impossible because it is incapable of adding this to our genes. Number nine, mere translates to what in English? And number 10, this is a synonym for kismet. All short and sweet. Any questions? None are forthcoming, so go to your rooms. Janine is here, Susan. What room was she in? You're muted. I put her in three. Okay. I already did it. Okay. I did it fast. Not when I was looking. That was fast. Well, I was putting the other Jane in. I'm muted. <clears throat> uh, three. Three is uh robert young yes young yeah, yeah. I, was, I wrote down robert and i'm like what the heck is this last name yeah, yeah. <laughs> robert young who is catholic yeah we should remember very quickly where tim kane is a senator from because he was a vice presidential candidate Wait, i know um is it maryland oh, yeah. it's one of those yeah, I'm it's sitting up, here telling you guys, and I'm muted. <laughs> it's Ohio, isn't it? Oh, I don't. Oh, know. Jane is from Ohio. Ask he knows these things. Just the hill Mark Warner. Hmm. Is in the Ohio? No, I think no. I don't think he's Midwestern. No, Colorado. no, it's maybe. I think he could. Are be. you there? Did he run for vice president? Yeah, Tim I Kane. Think it, it, yes. With uh, no, not New Jersey. Um, I think Ohio is right. Really? I, I don't, go, on, go on to the next one because he'll know that one. No. Um, four? four. I don't know that Mel Gibson movie. Anybody? No. Hmm. No. What do you think? I don't about Mel? He's sexist. Well, he's an anti Semite, so I, I don't watch Mel Gibson movies. Yeah. Well, yeah, he, he's a horrible person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So five, is that marble? Oh, yeah. No. Maybe. The material or the items created from it, often used in buildings of worship. So items made. Wait. Wait. So it doesn't make sense. Items, Items created from it? Marble, well, like the well, like the Elgin marbles. Yeah. Okay, that's possible. But, All right. Yeah, I I'm not po I I'm not comfortable completely with that, but maybe we'll know when we get the theme. Um, if you think about what's in a church, so you've got like icons, you've got crosses, big crosses, you've got golden things on the altar that cost so much candles <laughs> yeah okay and i just like oh, i can't i tim um, Warner, 
um, or uh, yeah, um, Mark Warner, uh, Virginia, Virginia. That's oh, better. Virginia. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah. Good job. Okay. I think that's yeah. Okay, particular Christian denomination. This is the final of three rites of initiation into the faith. Isn't it just confirmation? Well, that certainly is the third one in Catholicism. And it is it is the finish of your initiation, right? Boy, I didn't yeah. know all this. Thing. Three rites of confirmation. You, uh, one of them? No, and not I, I mean, people take classes for it, you know, they yeah. go and they study all this stuff. And and it's not just Catholics, they do it in other Christians. Yeah, you know, the Episcopalians study. do it for sure. Yeah. They study, they're brainwashed. They don't study. <laughs> well, they don't, oh, no, they don't call study. it that. And Catholics have to study, otherwise the bishop will slap you in the face. Yeah. Or the nuns. <laughs> Heaven is soul. <laughs> yeah, the nuns can be quite mean. Mm. Okay, number seven is the soul. The soul. I mean, the soul. That, that oh, sounds really? right, yeah. The soul. the soul. I laughed when he said that because I remember this. Somebody <laughs> trying to measure it. And I was like, how? Oh. That? Got Ooh. it. Good. The soul. It really, it only weighs 0. 0.74 ounces. <laughs> it doesn't weigh anything. Oh, so yeah. how does it float then? I mean, because when you die, it's supposed to rise up. Does it like suddenly get negative weight then? It, it must is. turn into helium. <laughs> these are the kind of conversations that that happen to get to those belief systems and we think they're ridiculous but people so really do so the solar uh stuff on our um flat earth okay hey, mark did you turn off the heat evolution is impossible because it is incapable of adding this to our genes That's that doesn't even that sentence doesn't even make sense. I know it doesn't make sense. I can't even thank you, Deborah, because I was struggling with that sentence. Oh. <laughs> we have the quotes anywhere because I, I didn't get them all written down. Oh, here, here. I'll put it in the chat. I mean, it makes sense that it's a question, but it doesn't make sense as a as a statement because it's impossible to add anything to well, it isn't impossible to add anything to our genes, but not in the way they mean. These are the ones do, you think do, number, not have. do you think number nine, he's referring to the French word mare? Yeah. Does it have that bit. accent on it? Yeah. Yeah. Then it means the sea, right? Yeah. Unless it means oh, something. Else. Mare. Yeah, that's right. That's C. Okay. Seminin for chismet. Isn't that karma? Could be. Could be, could be. serendipity or fate or. But like, karma is good. Kismet is, is kismet karma though? Kismet is more sort of. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Fate. That could be karma. Mm -hmm. So fate, karma. And then if we got the, the theme, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, so that would a, probably help. Here's our questions. Okay, write these down so that you we're sure the okay, Virginia, Catholic, Robert Young. So it could be Robert or it could be Young or but it, but the answer was just Young. It was the last so name. Third name. So it's name. Young. Uh Marble. Confirmation. Soul. C and Karma. Like, could this be a song or could this be a, um, a Catholic thing? I mean, it's all still like a place or. I wonder if Mary could mean something else. I don't see the sea fit. Um, the rest of them seem so religious. Okay, just pretend hmm. C's not on there and see if those others fit something. Could it be a song? Mm -hmm. Isn't there a song that's got Virginia, something in Virginia, you're too young and she's Catholic, the schoolgirls. 
Isn't there a song that's that's um something under the Virginia? You're so young and um path of girls. It was in the 80s or 70s, 70s, 80s. Look out, Virginia. Is it a Billy Joel? Oh, God. Oh, that would be ironic. <laughs> that would be ironic and mean. But isn't there Good. one? I, 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 was, I was really busy in the 80s. I didn't listen to very much music. Okay, mm -hmm. come on, you guys. Jamie, you remember <laughs> this, right? No, I no. don't. I thought it was a song, Karma. I thought it was a song, Karma Chameleon. Boy, George. Yeah. There was. Now, this yeah, is a song, and it was very popular. Business. It was played constantly by Wham or some. I don't remember, but it was like. Oh, during the eighties. Uh huh. It was like, it was about a guy who was trying to get this girl named Virginia to come and date him, and she was a Catholic girl, and she wore these, you know, the skirts, plaid skirts, and. I wouldn't doubt if all these other words are in that song too. I think he, Rob's trying to do a thing that a music song like uh, mm -hmm. Kevin does. Like Kevin does. But the uh -huh. song Where's so Caspian obscure. anyway? Caspian! <laughs> Did he fall asleep? Oh, it's a no. Uh, meow, meow, or however you pronounce it. Did we figure that one out? Meow? Meow was um, C. Mother. Mother. Look out, Virginia. Mother? Mother. Okay. Mother. That's oh, mother, mother because mare for C is just M E R. Is that right? Right. Okay. Uh, That's uh, better. Interesting. Okay. Mother. Mare. God, like, it's God, God, right here. Yeah. Fucking crazy. Um, well, the church is very big on mothers, so. Mm -hmm. But I swear that makes it's sense. that song. I think it's a song. I think you're right. Um, and it's just an obscure song that I'm seeming to be the only one that's remembering. Is this the one when somebody's like in love with somebody's mother? No. <laughs> no. No, no, no. It's about a guy He's singing. He says he's talking about a girl named Virginia. And he's talking about how mm -hmm. these Catholic girls, he's, I think it's like Catholic. Oh, it's like I could. Oh, it's like there. The dairy no. girls. The dairy girls. <laughs> no. It's like, it's like know, Virginia. Have you, you girls? Da, 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 da. That's oh, I'm, okay. I'm gonna ask Mark. <laughs> I hope if it's actually this song that Rob actually plays it for us, so we can all hear it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we'll all go dope. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. I did hear that. <laughs> Right on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, no, in the eighties, my son was really young, and I we were listening to, you know, the kid song, Disney children songs, and not this kind of stuff. In fact, even if he hadn't, even if I hadn't had him, I probably wouldn't have listened to this anyway. Not yeah, me. exactly. <laughs> Except if I was working somewhere and they were playing it, I maybe I would have. Yeah. It is true when you're stuck at home with kids, you don't hear as much accidentally as you might otherwise. Yeah. And then when he got old enough to actually have an opinion about what the radio was playing. Okay. I remember he's, it, it says Catholic girls grew up too, are, are, uh, you Catholic girls grew up too quickly. Uh, he doesn't remember. And I feel like uh -huh. silly that I'm the only one of all of these people that can remember this. I think you just dreamed it, Susan. I don't know. No. <laughs> is there anything in here about um, her shoes? So she's in school. Does one of these fit school? Is there a movie made by by Mel Gibson called School? Um, I don't know. Not with not with people like that in it. I don't think. No. It's, it sounds like it's about assassins. So assassins. Assassins. Yes, Hamilton. What can I do for you, Mister? So it's a psychopathic assassin, former right. assassin. That has to do with virgins and Catholic. Yeah, virgins are possible. Um, he's trying to. He's singing about how you know you're. He wants to date her. He wants to screw her, but she's she won't go out with him. And he's and he's saying that you Catholic girls grew up too quickly, and you're you know tied to your moms and and. 
you know, why won't you go out with me? And, and it's a really pop song. It's, um, so what is, <laughs> are, are we going to go with karma for the last one for now as our placeholder? So even, even if I don't know the song, we've got the right theme. It's, it's all like Catholic schoolgirl stuff. And he's in lust or in love or something like yes. that. So we need two, right? Well, we don't have yeah. a definite. Are we definite on karma? I thought so. All right. Yeah. Everybody else agree. Okay. So we have mother for nine. Evolution there is impossible because it's incapable of adding this to our genes. We don't have that one. What can that be? Chromosome? Um would be impossible to add to our genes. Well, I mean, one of the things they were they're interested in is things like faith guilt. and, and Can guilt. Add guilt yeah. to their genes? <laughs> Heaven, soul. Um, uh, the soul thing, but then we already have that as an answer for something else. Yeah. Um, spirit. Um, um my, my wife said that. A Billy Joel song, Only the Good Die Young. Oh. Um, has all that. You know what? Things. You know what? Only the good, oh. only the good die young. You Catholic. That's it. That's sure. it. Thank oh, you. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you, Jamie's wife. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so does it, it have really the karma song. in it? Can and you it, ask her if it has the word karma in it? Um, and it does have Virginia. Hey. Virginia. I know Rob's doing this because Kevin's here. He doesn't think we're smart enough to figure this out. But I have <laughs> well, Kevin, Kevin's I was probably laughing. A, a Kevin's out of hell when I saw Virginia, Catholic, and, and mother, and young. I had it. Kevin's laughing his ass off. <laughs> he thinks he's the only one that's got it. Him and Rob. Yeah. So Rob shows up in her so I'm not real sure what the what the ID is referring to. What is that a, a shorthand for? Oh, oh uh, intelligent design. Intelligent. Oh, design. thank you. Oh, okay. The Earth is only created in six thousand years. Crap. Okay. So yeah. what could incapable of adding to your genes? Dinosaur DNA. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's a science thing. I think it's more okay. of a more oh. of a Catholic thing. Oh, like original sin or. Or, but this or, is intelligent design, so it's bigger than just Catholic, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's broader than original sin. Um, yeah. Um, possible of adding to your genes. Conscience? I'm trying to remember the words of the song. Um, are we the good? Are we the, um, let's see. <laughs> I don't know the words. Yeah. Um, okay. Try number four, you guys. That's the movie, oh. right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's really recent. Uh, let's see. What is the song? I'm sure people will make it. Oh, yeah. 2021. Only. No, I didn't see that. Well, you know, Mel Gibson movie. Probably won't be watching it. Although you know, he, right. in spite of his, he's a total psychopath and and anti-Semitic lunatic. But he he wasn't untalented. No, I remember seeing him long before any of I knew anything about him, and I kind of yeah. liked him. He's really good in some of his earlier films. You know, so is Tom Cruise, like, right, Jamie? It was like come out. See, I never thought Cruise was good in anything. I've yeah. still come out and play. Or come really out. Well, he's good looking. I guess it's only the good die young and Catholic um, confirmations. And could the word virgin be one of the answer to number eight? Well, and number four? One virgin. That's kind of in virgin. one already. Virginia. Well, her name is Virginia. The the character in the song is Virginia. Well, it's really a handicap not having gotten a PhD in this mm. particular <laughs> musical <laughs> artist. Well, Peggy, why didn't you get a PhD? Come on, Peggy, you're not too old to go back. To I, I did try my. I gave it one hour on. Oh, Joel. One hour on Pandora and nearly lost my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Pride. 
<laughs> I forgot. You should know this. I know. I should. I should have figured it out. But I, you know, there's. It's one thing to listen to the music and then to listen to the. You know, to really appreciate the lyrics. Well, I know that's going too far. <laughs> Well, and I have to say, in at least in my era, a lot of times the lyrics weren't all that clear on a lot of songs. Yeah, we made it clear. clear. <laughs> it is. Mumble, mumble, mumble. I, I, I didn't catch a lot of the lyrics. Yeah. Just the tune. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Now we can do this, right? Question eight. What is incapable of being added to your genes? Free will? Consciousness, free will, um, peanut butter. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it could be so many things, and they're so okay. crazy. Yeah. Um, Come on, we have to sing. We have to sing the song. Well, if if we hadn't have had Jamie soul was, like, for the you, other answer, I would have said that. Can you sing it, Jamie? Have you got it? No, you I don't know the. I know the tune, but I don't okay, know. Okay, do the tune, do the tune. Um, Mama? I can't, and Mama? I can't sing. <laughs> we don't care. It's not like we're recording or anything. Just like we're doing the birthday <laughs> thing. <you know. laughs> well, come on, take one for the team the and words? sing it. Come it. Where's your and wife? My wife will sing. Okay. Oh, and my wife knows the words. Okay. You just. Don't make me wait. Don't make me wait. Catholic girls. Catholic girls. Started much too late. Yeah. Too late. Too late. Cat leather shoes. <laughs> oh, how about the movie Heaven Can Wait? How yeah. cool oh. than that? But that is way younger. But was but it that remade was with uh, uh, Mel Gibson? No. No. Yeah, if that no. was what that was like. From the 80s or something, wasn't it? Yeah, that was like 35 years ago. <laughs> Warren Beatty. Yeah. Yeah, Warren Beatty. Yeah. Sooner or later, it comes to fate. Debate. It's, fate. Fate. it's fate, not karma then. It's fate. It's probably fate instead of karma. Yeah. On number 10, it's going to be fate. What okay. else? What are the words? My, my, my wife is trying to sing it. What about the marble reference or what we think is marble reference and it might Ask be something about marble, yeah. It's probably something else. Uh -huh. Granite. It will be either one. Is the name for either the material or the items created from the Ask her if marble's in there or what stone might is be. The word marble in there is so like a building material. <laughs> Wood, iron. Let's so sing the song. I sing the song very well. We can't hardly hear you, so go ahead and sing it out. Go ahead. Sing it to, to sing it to Jamie, and then he can just pull out the words. Yeah, it's kind of like we're recording. Yeah, but that, that's what we're trying. The name for the material of energy. Come on, with the energy. Why would it be buildings of worship? Would you use this item most? Why would he mention that? That it'd be a buildings of worship. Could it be often used uh, in buildings of worship? Um, like if you're making a sarf sarcophagus, would it be out of marble? Right? Wouldn't it? There's would a lot of stuff that would be in a building of worship that could be made out of marble that has been historically, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, cards, the altars and I don't know all the words. That's the problem. I, I think the weak link is the items created from it. That's that's tenuous. But something about but, but like Jamie pointed out, there's the elegant marbles and yeah. No, but I got none of the word marbles is in the marble? song. I don't know. Can you just remember the song, the words at all? She has already. Thank you. Yeah, that was a yeah. that was, I could not think of the name of that for the world. That was very helpful. Yeah. And I made sure that I didn't feel like I made it up. Like Deborah said, I was dreaming it. <laughs> well, you know, know how you I are. Wasn't dreaming it. <laughs> you know how you are. I love it. And I remember the word Virginia. <laughs> Did she just say I was how I will? You know how you are, she said. <laughs> what happened to Caspian? He's not contributing. Caspian, where are you? He probably knows all the answers. 
Yeah, I'll Captain, pick you're muted. <laughs> He's he probably been yelling out to us. He yeah. said the heck with this group. <laughs> yeah, he's probably gone away. There's something more fun to do. And he would this. know all about I'm texting him now. That's it. I'm texting him. Okay. Confirmation. Okay. Confirmation. Yeah, confirmation. Confirmation is there. Yeah, we okay. got that. That's good. It's good to have confirmation, got confirmation. about confirmation. <laughs> got confirmation. Our about confirmation that. has been confirmed. <laughs> it's been confirmed. What else? Is, what are the words? Okay, wait. I know wait is in there. Wait? Yeah, she's he, in the song. He says, um, the what? You young, you uh, Catholic girls start much too late. That's what it is. Yeah, well, no, young Catholic virgin. <laughs> Sing it to me because I want to pick out the words. Let me go away for a second. Okay. <laughs> Sharon has to think. If she if she feels work. if she feels like she needs to do it silently, you could put it on mute and she could just sing to you. Okay, well that's what, <laughs> that's what she's doing. Trying to think. It's hard to remember the words. Oh, I know. So after the, so long. I don't okay. think the, I don't think the word marbles. Rosary is there. Rosary, what would that be? Oh, you think that's the movie, maybe? We could write it down. Rosary. In other words. They didn't remake it's Rosemary's good. Baby, did they? Did, it, did they remake Rosemary's Baby? No, but I think if just because if it's in there and we know it's in there, we don't have an answer for four. Let's use Rosary for four. Oh, can they put a rosary on your jeans? <laughs> I don't think no, so. I think, I think that's a stretch. Well, it's obvious you can't put a rosary on your jeans. <laughs> Why would you? Oh, no. <laughs> Why, Why? Jamie, did you say something? No. In your jeans. <laughs> we don't, and we don't have anything for that adding to your jeans one yet, do we? That's the only one we're missing now. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we have Virginia for one, Catholic for two, Young for three. We're going to tentatively go with Rosary because it's a, it's an answer. Marble <clears throat> or marbles for five. How about trauma? You, you trauma. No, we changed it. We changed it to fate. Because fate's actually in the, it's a, and that was number 10. We've got confirmation for six. Seven is soul or the soul. We don't have eight. Is eight the jeans one? Yeah. yeah. I'm still all screwed that up. Trauma? Trauma? Trauma. Eight? You can't add trauma to your jeans? Well, I know you can't add trauma to your jeans, but. Nine is <laughs> mother, <laughs> ten is fate. So we don't have seven. Yeah, we have seven is soul. We don't have eight and we don't have. We have everything but nine, uh, eight. We have them all, but eight. But, well, we have a guess for four that's tentative and tenuous, but. Okay. All right. So shall we, let's just put free will in for first eight. Yeah, okay. that's, that's fine. Yeah. That's really good. It's not good. I, it's, 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 I hate seeing blanks, you know? Yeah. I don't know if it's in the song, but. It's a good guess. <clears throat> He's appealing to her sense of free will to go fuck him, I guess. Yeah, or, or just or just asking, will she? You know? yeah. thanks, for, uh, thanks for just singular, singly uh, making this video inoperable for any. Oh, I'm so sorry. Watch. I have to uncheck the box that this is appropriate for children. Thanks. Oh, for just, sorry. Actually, just never, bleep that. Just bleep no, that. I don't, out. I don't bleep nothing. I just upload. Is, is that what we're going for? To, for this to be appropriate for children, because they're going to be so bored by the first. All right. Okay. So, you know what, Rob, you need to stop writing categories for people unless the next category is written with me in mind. He did write one for people. Yes, this is yours. <laughs> hey. You know <laughs> what? You're not. I'm a people. You know well, what? We, we I, know. <laughs> so, it out. So, so it I just, believe this round violates an established procedural rule. Oh, yeah, but, but she, <laughs> she did penance for it. She she listened to several hours of 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 this in penance, right, Peggy? That rule got Speaking recanted of, because I felt so guilty about it. Speaking of the rules, rule Susan officially rescinded. Susan, didn't we have a didn't we have a rule that said you can't base the secret theme? You can't have questions that require you to figure out the theme to answer the question. No, no, no. We you, had the rule is had, that, that one of the answers can't be the theme. Right. Unless you wanted to, okay. you could make it the theme. 
Okay, yeah, so yeah, it couldn't be the eleventh question. You couldn't do a bonus. Okay, so here we go. So, so and there was, he is, right there. There's what, the drummer right there. What was Wait really funny time. was uh, <laughs> I, I sat in Kevin's room because I figured if they don't have this, and they got through answering almost all of them, and half of them were wrong because they did not have the theme. And then oh. finally, Kevin goes, "Wait a minute." <laughs> and then they got yeah. well because i was stuck on listen. robert young i kept saying robert young is not in the song so i never said that's why i said surname and then i'm like wait a minute wait a minute and well then you know said, what you should have been the good guy young because we were brilliant okay so here we go <laughs> and you can watch yeah. us and there's proof because there's a video of us being brilliant right guys? Our, i will watch it all right yes. here we go so yes i don't know some some teams did not get the theme so i they're not going to have done well i don't think so yes so here we go almost in order uh -huh. only one was out of order come out virginia don't let me wait catholic girls start my says number two fate was the last thing and uh fate. i think i had a more difficult one and i changed it out the last minute which ah. is why that one's not in order Fate was also listed in the end too though uh that's no that's right it's number 10 so that was the last dangerous question. we're dangerous <laughs> so uh, you might have heard i run with a dangerous crowd so that was the that was the movie the movie Stay was called uh, Dangerous? Yes. Oh, that was the name of the movie. We get the movie oh, wrong. Oh, 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 stained glass. Oh, stained oh, glass oh, is stained what you put glass. in the window, and the window yeah. is stained glass window, or you call it a curtain. That's fine. I'm taking that. I, we you never settled on the answer. <laughs> All right, confirmation is indeed the third. It's baptism confirmation and yeah. then confirmation, of which I have. Oh, afraid. free wills. You mean communion confirmation. confirmation? You get a brand new soul. Yeah, what did I say? You said commun you said confirmation, confirmation. Yes, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Baptism, communion, and confirmation. Uh, I don't think anybody got the information. That's one of the things about we did. If, if, we did. Very good. Thanks Most Richard. people did not get that. If we you listen to it. any creationist talk, oh, there can't be more information put into DNA by evolution. Yeah, they so try and claim it's a violation of the. That's correct. Oh, I never heard that. And uh, most yeah. people got the uh, French word. I think it is for mother. So one, there you go. Two, three. All right. I will put oh, okay. the answers was, in. Yes, the please back. put the answers in. That was Ooh. out of order and hard to follow. Yep. Here you go. Here Thank you, sir. Are the answers in order? Um, great. Stainless. Totally did not get the theme. Oh, well, ah. we got the theme, but you know what? I got thrown we off because I, someone, I, someone said Santa Claus, and I'm like, yeah, it could be. <laughs> yeah. Santa Claus. And then we had Fat Man for the movie. Fat Man for the movie. Fat Man. <laughs> I'm going, you know, the first thing I thought Ooh. of was Virginia, you know, the Billy Joel song, but nothing else fit. And I'm looking, Robert Young doesn't fit. And I'm like, so stupid. Robert, forget about just the last name. Well, you know what happened in our room is I knew Ooh. it, the theme. And I was yelling it. I'm like, okay, it's it's something about a woman and she's a schoolgirl. She's Catholic. Her name is Virginia. And this guy's <laughs> trying to get into her pants. Oh, yeah. And, he's, and she had something about dying and, and being and young. It's the and, first. And, and you know what? Deborah said, Deborah said, I was dreaming. She says, I dream. <laughs> it's not real. And finally, Jamie's, Jamie's wife came on and said, Is it? I said, I think it's Billy Joel. And and yeah. I said Billy Joel, but I couldn't think of it. And then and Deborah still said I was dreaming. And Peggy, <laughs> said, <laughs> said, Peggy said that I was making it up. Oh, I got a wife. I did not say that ever. Look at the tape. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> Jamie's, Jamie's wife came in and said, I think it's called Only the Good Time. <laughs> oh, got it. Uh, didn't dream the, the song the guy in my photo is the drummer on that song he came up with the Just riff the and the riff was actually stolen from a Jimi hendrix song that, the opening riff that's true. That's well then he didn't come up anybody with get sued yeah no no they drum is steel and he's <laughs> playing next week i'm going to go see drummer him steel <laughs> what is they that say? wrong he said they steal. drummers steel <laughs> <laughs> yep. drummers. There's only so many. There's only yeah, still Ooh, okay. a kitty. Carolyn's kitty. Oh, I don't see oh. and Carl's at the same so time. He, he, they Jack played that first night a, about 10 minutes ago. On Saturday Night Live in 1978. It, it, How much does your kitty weigh, Carolyn? I'm not sure. He's okay. um we've had him five months now. So he's oh. nine he months now. He looks kind of big. Yeah, he's gonna be a big kitty. Did he get startled when he broke the lamp or was he like, yeah? <laughs> um, no, 
all three ran out, so I knew something bad happened. So, <laughs> no one wants okay, to take here we go. Home. Scores, you guys. Score, score, scores. All right, room three. I gave you Jane in Oregon. So let's see some numbers here. When you're here, you're happy. When you're happy. When you're here, your family. Whatever. Eight. There you go. Yeah, see? Yeah, nice. Jane. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. You're tight. Enjoy that. Okay. Thanks. Scratch your tickets. Five. Okay. Chicken dinosaur void GT helicopter. I think we got seven. That's what I count. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Hey, look. We're in the lead. Yeah, briefly. For a minute. <laughs> Let's just stay here for a while. Okay. <laughs> Our confidential answers are hidden Bill Clinton saxophone. My cats are yelling at each other. Hey, get along. Eight. There's a huge chair there. You can both sit there. It's not a big deal. You do this every night. Don't you hiss at him. Are you yelling at Faith and Romero? <laughs> no, we're, being, we're being on our best behavior. Julia stands for 411. 10. Uh, that information is the one we didn't get. Oh, my God. How did they get information? That we, we never knew what it. it was. We got information even before we knew what the theme was. Yeah, yeah we didn't get yeah, it. Yeah, we had that answer. <laughs> One of the few that we had. That before. How did you? How did you get dangerous? That movie wasn't even released in the United States. And it States. got the raspberries. <laughs> yeah, I never heard because of that. we were going through the song lyrics. Okay, guys. Yeah, but we put we out what it was. We put Rosemary. <laughs> Deborah says, "Was there a remake of Rosemary's Baby?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was the one i expected nobody would get i'm kind of surprised Jeez. all right okay uh, ready for now this is my favorite one. Oh, good finally is it written for me <laughs> it's not oh, science thank you, Bob. fiction that was an alien. excellent category oh no, <laughs> no. alien susan right. did, hmm. did, did you get your son on board there susan yet? i texted okay. and he hasn't responded oh. ah. Are we going to have something we can look at when we're in our room? Yes, I am going to give you a copy of this. Oh, good. Oh, so perfect. number one is, how do I do slideshow in this? Are these fictional space aliens? Are these fictional space aliens or real space aliens? Robert, I'm not quite sure how to answer that question. They're, they're, yeah, they're real space <laughs> aliens. OK, number one. <laughs> So yes, you will get a copy of this file, and before we go away, we'll check that you Do can we have, to know have the permissions correct. What if we are use their alien name? Are people His muted? Is... Are our people <laughs> muted? Number two. Wait, we wait. We named... do have a question. Is we it is the actor's, that is? the actor's name or the alien in the movie? Name, name the film, film series, or TV series that these aliens are associated with is the question. All right. Okay, so it's not the person, the creature. Alien. It's the film, film series, or TV series. Number one. Number two. Number three. Going through the fast because you'll have a copy. Number four. <laughs> an attractive couple. Number five. Number six. Seven. Number eight. Oh, they're smiling. A little slower. You're going to have a copy of it. This is just for the video record. Number nine. They look so big. Finally, number <gasps> 10. So that's it. Let me give you a copy of the file. And somebody verify that you can, in fact, access it. Let's see. Well, you said these are all franchises. I thought seven was Mucinex. <laughs> <laughs> okay somebody first person who opens that let me know or or gets a problem yeah it works yeah i can see it, it works. okay okay Go uh, you guys are getting so advanced it just really cracks me up i love it everybody's in the rooms that's nice i don't have to put anybody in the room Susan, you know one of the only one I recognize is is one, but I don't. Re I 
don't know his name. Oh, no, you don't I've need seen... to. You just need the movie. I... Damn it, I'm, I'm muted. The day the air stood still. I always say something really witty, and then I realize I'm on mute. I know 10. Not yeah, I know 10. you know 10. I, I think that's that's a question just for you. No, no, he wouldn't have thought I knew this. Oh, he does. He knows you're addicted to Hitchhiker. No, I'm not that addicted, but see, you knew it. <laughs> yeah, well. So 10 is Hitchhiker? Hitchhiker's Ten Guide to the Galaxy. And one is The Day of the Earth Stood Still. You know, should I uh, share this? Oh, that's right. Go ahead. Can you do it? Yeah, I think so. Hang on. Share, 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 share. Here we go. There it is. I want to get rid of you, though. I want none of your faces. OK, so here wow. it is. That one is The Day of the Earth Stood Still. You guys can see this, right? OK. That's right. Yeah. I remember yeah. this face. I that looks don't... so phony. I don't remember this one. He looks a little vaguely familiar. Looks fake. Looks like and something like a Muppet. Fake. It looks like a Muppet. Was this a one was one? a movie and a TV was, show. Yeah. Um, and it was pretty good. It was a good film. Um, I like her dress. Uh, God, I don't remember the name of it. Was two Star Wars? Oh, maybe. I'll put it in as a as a placeholder. That's as good a guess as anything else. Your guess, he's got. Oh, this one. What's the B? <laughs> Alien the Nation. There's Cass. Oh, oh. you in the last round, Cass. That's a good one. Alien Are Nation. Are Caspian? I had to take a phone call. Oh. Okay. Who's who are these fictional? Well, of course. Go back to two because let's see if he knows this one. What, what he's looking for the movie or TV show that it's from, not the name of the character or anything. Was that Star Wars? No. No. I don't think so. Caspian, do you remember this program? Is that Alienation? I've never heard of that. Wasn't there a show called V? Yeah, there was, yeah. but this was different. This was not V. Because they look familiar, but I didn't see the. I might sound on a commercial or something. This one started as a film. It was a good film. Um, it turned into a TV yeah. show that was iffy. This one was, um, oh God, I think it's the one where Roddy Piper's in it and you put on dark glasses that he finds and you can tell that all these people are aliens and they all look like that. God, Peggy, you have so much wealth of information. Useless that actually sounds know. familiar, but I don't know what it is. I don't remember the title of it. But for some reason, my brain decided to remember Roddy Piper's name, how stupid that is. <laughs> how come the person behind him isn't like that? Because she's because human. not an alien. Yeah. Oh. I mean, she doesn't. She doesn't know that these oh, people so are aliens. Oh, so you put glasses on, and then you can see the aliens. You can see the real aliens, and they look pretty hideous like this. And what's the <laughs> name of that movie? Oh, sorry. Can't remember. OK, this one? Anybody? Doctor Who. Doctor Who on this, five. There's got to be a Doctor Who, right? Yeah. This Hello? one? Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I've seen her. I know I'd seen her, but I couldn't remember. It looks like somebody that Avi would know. <laughs> yeah. Like he uh, has it. So it matches thing. his head. His head yeah. where? This one Star, Star Trek. Trek. Yeah. Yep. Star, Star Trek? Trek? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, the first that's series. The Horga. Oh, I can't believe you know Star that. Star Trek no, original. I, I raised him right. Okay. I'm actually working on renaming the star trek episodes right now who who asked you to do that uh, my filing system Must be oh okay Aspen, does, do these blobs look like anything you recognize uh no anybody blobs no it's not ghostbusters is it no are they aliens they're smiling they're not are they yeah they're aliens no. this one don't know Star Wars. 
Star, Star Wars. Wars. Okay. He gets shot by Han. That's they do look pretty low tech for Star Wars to me, but the first one. And we have this one, which is the Hitchhiker's Guide. Okay, so we need to get. I uh, bet you he was thinking that nobody would get this one because it's little mouses. Yeah, <laughs> this one does oh. seem familiar for some reason. Yeah, yeah. We it to you a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Are there any al are there any aliens in Sh Shrek? No. In what? No. <laughs> it looks like it belongs in Shrek. No. He's a flat earther. See his head. Oh, oh no! Oh, look, we're we're almost done now because you know why? Because Carl's team got ten in like three seconds. Four. <laughs> ten, and, ten and Carl. The cheaters are finished. <laughs> oh, that's good, Jane. That's good. Okay, um, we don't have even a guess for this one. Um, he looks really sad. Was he one of the guys in the bar in Star Wars? <laughs> well, we've already got like Star if, we Wars. Have, if we have Star Wars already, unlikely there would be two. Okay, but not so impossible. can you guys name some alien movies we have not seen? Like, yeah, big alien films we haven't used yet. Well, we could just put them in all, pick one and we'll put them in the whole thing. And it could be a TV show. Okay, yeah, how about this one's probably this one's probably a, a movie, but yeah, some of the, them are. With number the, two, go with Babylon 5. Babylon okay. 5. Babylon 5? Yes. That's as good a guess as nothing. I like it. Okay, what else we got? We got okay, we don't four. have the name to this one. Roddy Piper's movie. I'm just going to write that down because it's helpful. Not at all. Go to the Roddy Piper's movie. <laughs> I think he's going to want the actual title. And the actual and that really attractive couple above them. I don't know what that is either. And <laughs> got six. We got her. Yeah, go, we got. Go, her. go to two, got, four, or three, four. Go to four. Well, I, I'm uh, going to put an alienation on this one. I'm <clears throat> pretty sure it's alienation. Okay. I'm not positive. Okay, so put the... Apologies five, ahead of time. We five, don't have five, eight. We don't I have eight. We have eight. I'm saying put V. It's not... Not, not, it's not, this one's not V. That, no, the one underneath it, five. God, Rob, that was the hardest category we had yet. Holy uh, what? what? Jesus. You're right. Susan, we have, Susan, we have five. Well, the one that I was yelling as we left. And you Four? said, not this one. I said, the one underneath it. The couple. Hey, Vincent, did you know we're being recorded? The couple is not the name yes. that you said. No, the I one under the, the, the other no. couple. Oh, I see what you're saying. The couple with the glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rob. Right. That's eight, writing right? categories for you writing categories with certain people in mind. Are we ready? So you need to start writing categories sure. for, for people. Yeah, was, I think it people. was a pretty good mix of different topics. You had celebrities. <laughs> you had and just Aaron's. leftovers of anything. So here we go. Everybody see my slide? Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll paste the answers in later. Right now, I'm just going to go through the slideshow. And the answers are, number one, that was Michael Rennie from The Day the Earth Stood Still. Nice. Plateau. Excellent movie. The Day was, the Earth Stood Still. That was really good. Still. I only saw it just recently. Cla Clatu was the robot. No. Yeah. Some other no. guy. No. Gort. Gort. Gort was the robot. Gort was the robot, okay. yeah. Right. Right. The movie holds up pretty well today. It still does. Oh, oh. 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 RSK. That? that people had some difficulty with that one. Never saw it. Oh, Alien Nation. Yes. 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 Good, good, show. Good, show. good show. Good job, yeah. Gail, because I would have I forgot all about it. Good job, Peggy. Gail kicked ass in our category. Yep. Right. Yeah. Number four is the cult classic oh. They Live. Awesome. Oh, love on. that. Love that movie. John Starring Roddy Piper, and that's all I could remember. Yep. Five. You're gonna is kick ass and chew bubble silence gum. All out of gum. From Doctor Who. I thought it was D O C T O R. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. This is Guardians of the Galaxy yeah, from the last film. Yeah, I just want you guys to know 
that Deborah said this looks like um, somebody who um, would be going out with Avi. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I did not say going out. I just said somebody he would know. <laughs> we have it all in Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh. We know what you'd know. Oh. Seven. Christmas special. The Horta from boy. Star Trek. Yes. The Horta. Suck it. Yeah, that's what it was. The Horta. Hey. Yeah. Uh, Bob remembered the plot. That was good. I didn't. I wasn't in the other room. So. Horta. Yeah. Uh, this is from the Orville. <laughs> Never heard of it. Never heard of the Orville? It's the best Star Trek show no. on TV. Star Trek. It is. Star Trek. So good. Oh, that does remind they me ever of have an episode See, where there was Star more Trek. than one Norm MacDonald, though? I don't remember. So, yes, they had a flashback of his previous life, and that was his brother he was. Standing. Wait a second, you guys. Are you shitting me? This is Star Trek? No, it's no, the no, Orville. This is Orville. Orville. It's, a, it's a parody of Star Trek. Oh, it's an homage. It's an homage. Thank you, Carl. Homage. It's wow. it's it's a a show. Star Trek shows on TV. Who shot oh, first? Man. Star Wars. Although, Strange New Worlds is. And number 10 is somebody said it exactly the vast, hyper intelligent, pan dimensional beings, which we see as mice. <laughs> the Tucker's Guide to the Galaxy. That was Frankie Mouse and, and Benji Mouse. <laughs> yeah. Those were their names. Yeah. I didn't remember that. Uh huh. That's right. I have consumed that franchise in every possible mm. iteration. Very nice. All right. I'm going to paste the answers for Susan into the chat. That franchise is my mom. Huh? Oh, really? I've, I've got the BBC uh, uh, audio and the, I didn't like the movie. And of course, the books. I have the original yeah. radio scripts. Oh, I think the radio, radio is too. great. Yeah, the original yeah. radio yes. scripts are great. But it okay. was originally. It so, started out guys, over. good night. Oh, good take care. Night. Night. The TV series with music Hi. by Will Zeppelin. Okay, here we go with the scores. All right, so who's on first? Um, fake scratcher tickets. Ten. Figures. Um, room three. When you're here, your family. Eight. Oh yeah, eight. Eight. Okay. Yeah. Uh, dinosaur chicken chicken dinosaur void GPT helicopter. Seven. Um, our confidential answers are hidden in Bill Clinton's saxophone. Nine. And Ooh. Julian Sands, 411. 10. Yes. Look at that. You would have to turn in your uh, your sci-fi card if you didn't get a 10 on that one, Carl. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. All right, Rob. No pressure or anything. No, so you better be um, really good on this last one. So so looking at my backdrop, the bonus category is in the middle. What do you guys think it is? Where are you? Countries of the world with the letter C. Um, Geography. Yeah. Where in the world Los is Carmen Angular. San Diego? Where's oh, Waldo? It's, it's shades of blue. Flatter. It's the Moody Blues. So the category yeah. is for the bonus. How many continents touch Africa? <laughs> the most visited websites. What I want you to do uh, is list 10 of the most 50 visited websites worldwide as of January 1st. Alexa. Year. According to the top website rankings list published monthly by Similar Web, and since there are fifty of them in five groups, you can each get ten. So I'm going to say this is Mono Rules. No. Oh, <laughs> oh no way. Okay. Oh yeah. That totally sucks. Okay, Good wait, Lord. Okay. So Man. it could be languages. It could be. It could be uh, websites that are like Korean or something. There we go. Of the world, ten of the most fifty visited websites worldwide. Send us to our rooms before I say anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's similar that. web? They, they track website usage, and they're actually okay. on the on the Wikipedia page for this topic. They're their only citation, but I actually went to their original page to to make sure that they were okay. correct. So yeah, okay. Here we go. Participants, no wrong. Where we go? Open breakout yeah. rooms. Go to your rooms. Okay, this is better. I like this better. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
Oh, I gotta get to my room. Everybody's in. Okay. Okay. Everybody back. Um, Google, of course. Uh, so, um, is is Wikipedia one website or is it every language? So, can we do Wikipedia Somalia or something? No, they're going to say Wikipedia China. They'll just say Wikipedia. Well, yeah. Yeah, probably just. In other words, Wikipedia. Is it considered just one? Google. Yeah, it is. People will get it with with minor rules. People will get Google. Twitter. Okay, it's Twitter, YouTube, what, Facebook. What would be the Chinese version? Like, isn't there one called Alibaba or something, which is a like like Amazon could be one? And actually, Alibaba is a good choice. Alibaba would be there. Oh yeah. It's like, about how, how about the news? How about the news organizations like Al Jazeera and you know, yeah, BBC CNN. and it is CNN a, and maybe New York Times. No, it's uh, um. I believe there's also like Bank of America. Uh, yeah. Is on there. Yeah. Oh, and uh, the credit Fargo. cards too, like um, Visa. Yeah. What about Wells Fargo? Are I they as big? Wells Fargo, Fargo. Is one of the top. Yeah. Um, the, the other group would be um, travel, like bookings.com. Yeah, uh, airline, like American Airlines. Oh, yeah, Expedia. Expedia. Um, um, Orbitz. Orbit. Maybe like something like AAA. Are we putting you know, like, Amazon? Can we put Amazon? Yes, put Amazon. Yeah, yeah. Amazon. Um, uh, what are the, the big what's one? The biggest airline. What's the biggest airline oh. worldwide? Does anybody mm. go to the airlines though? Because most people are going to do yeah. those from a from a like yeah, like we could well, all travel on to the like air. A, they all have their own app. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, we, but, we, we but what about um what about like WebMD and the Mayo Clinic? Oh, Mayo oh that's Clinic good. Is WebMD a is a good possibility. I'm sure Mayo. Yeah, somebody might not think of that. But see the problem. What about something in India? Because the South India country? is going to be the most populous country in like this year. James. So, um, James, um, trying to say something. Stock market. Stock market. Oh, the stock market. But would they do well, like a Charles Schwab they, or something? Schwab, but they say it's worldwide. So like in China, WeChat is yeah, the that's big. Yes, I'm saying WeChat. Chat. WeChat, that's the Chinese thing. Uh, and Alibaba. Um, um, is there pirate, pirate Bay. <laughs> the Pirate Bay? Pirate Bay. What's what that? is that? For stealing, stealing stuff, torrenting stuff. Oh, oh! I wonder if the does the dark web. What about Pornhub? Yeah, Pornhub for sure. That's number, that's number one. I don't think you that's really the dark think Pornhub is going to be on. No, the no I, I was, I wasn't trying to say there are the same thing. Uh, to be Pornhub honest, it. I'd be surprised if it wasn't number one worldwide. Yeah, that's <laughs> is it going on the list? Sure. Yeah, definitely. It doesn't, it it doesn't list, violate yeah. the parameters at all. Yeah, but things like Facebook. Yeah, we're not saying what's on it. We're just naming it. No, I mean, <laughs> 10 of the most visited websites worldwide, uh, according to top websites ranking. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about. Oh, Pornhub would definitely be number one. The, um, All right. What about like, something like Facebook? Yes, Facebook is definitely. Facebook, uh, yeah. And Twitter, you said. See, the yeah. biggest one in Asia is called Line, L-I-N-E. That's what uh -huh. everybody in all throughout Southeast yeah. Asia and but China. I that should be on it then. Yeah. yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. I had to use line when I was in Thailand. Yeah, that's what we use. So most people won't get it since we're doing mono rules. So line is very right. popular. Is that like so a line? Yeah, is it like a Twitter? Or is it like what's it like? Line is like um, WhatsApp. It's a communication app that anybody oh, uses. Ah. What's what's app? App? So we've got just just to start with the ones we want to leave on Alibaba, WeChat, Line, um, Pornhub. You want to Pornhub. Pornhub. I think yeah. you should put the banks. The that bank, means, both banks. Well, like Bank of America. Bank of America, Maybe. Wells Fargo, and uh, City. City Bank. City bank. Yeah. Yeah, bank. Oh, it's just, it would be city.com, I think. Okay. That's well, it's also right. going to be bofa.com. And what do you think about Chase? 
maybe. Yeah. Okay, but please don't forget, those are all American. Yeah, don't forget, this yeah. is worldwide. Okay, well, what would so, be the bank equivalents of giant banks in, in uh, Asia? Well, like Citicorp would be one. Um, Schwab, so that's an American thing. Let's see. See, yeah, see, um, yeah th these are all American, that was the same. Citibank for sure is international. So let's take yeah. off the obvious, like Wikipedia. What's Wikipedia. China's state media, big state media? Um, oh, WeChat, WeChat, Alibaba. No, 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 the, as in their equivalent of, say, the BBC. Um, that's the, what do we call it? Um, CNC? Well, what is the TV? What's their station called? Um, you know, BBC might be one of them because it's in so many countries. Why what, what did you say that a, again? The oh, BBC, BBC yeah, might be, be one. BBC, BBC is possible. That's worldwide. Yeah, because that's it's, a, that's so, big, it's everywhere. Thing. It's everywhere. All right. We got BBC.com. How about CNN? Yeah, that's pretty you know, big Fox also. Fox is bigger than CNN. Yeah, but no. they're going to all guess. Fox is something. only American. CNN is much, much bigger than nobody watches Fox outside of the US. But CNN. So we want it on the list? CNN is going on? It's a possibility. We're, we're, we're narrowing it down. <laughs> what about Al Jazeera? Well, that's big also. Yes. Is it big? Yeah, I think that's CNN? right. Well, it's a good strategy because of the mono rule bullshit. Oh, sorry. I didn't get <laughs> this. We, we have a chance, you guys. Against some of these mm -hmm. stupid teams. How about Please. Alibaba? Who said Alibaba? Yeah, Alibaba. Yeah, that's that one already. Stopping. What is? But also, the, the the equivalent of Alibaba. There's two companies in Asia: Alibaba and Lazada. Lazada is basically the Amazon of Asia. Yeah. Okay. Lee, how do you spell it? L a z a d a. Lazada. But I don't All know right. if it's um, Alibaba. Yeah, but that's an Asian, like a Southeast Asian thing in India. So well, I don't know if the India and China are going to be way more people than in America. Oh, India! We should have something about India. It's so the most popular. India and China have a large, much larger population, but we still have a larger um, proportion of people using the internet. Keep in mind, so that's true. Yeah. That's true. I just write off American sites because the United States is smaller. We're also, you know, gigantic. I think we have the third largest population in the world. Yeah, but I, but for IT, Thailand is actually one of the most literate IT countries in the world. So there's a lot. We we have we just upgraded to two thousand speed for free. I'll give you an example. I what don't up? know what that is. Um, I don't know what that is. Either. Amazon. It's so advanced, Caspian. I don't know what it is. Let's see what else we have. Um, Said Amazon. Which banks are we How about using? Steam? Oh, Steam. That's a good, that's an excellent answer. Yes. That's definitely, that's huge. That's all throughout Steam? all Europe, Asia, US. Steam. Steam? Yes. Steam. As in boiled water. Yeah, I've never, I've never heard of it. It's where they yeah, get all the it. gaming stuff off of. Game. It's huge. Yeah. Oh, actually, for gaming. Um, Ubisoft well, no, is another one. No, no, that one. Hey, should we be narrowing it down? Because I can't see if they've got the 10. Um, oh, it's not let me share this. Answer. I'll tell you how many we have when we share it here. Here's what we have, unless I miss something. Okay. So we got, Alibaba. We got is Alibaba okay? Yes. Oh, we've got right, 11. That. That's pretty good. Bank, Bank of, of America. America. Yay. Well, no, yes, I think it's the biggest, isn't it? That in Wells Fargo. I think it's bigger than, much bigger than Wells Fargo. Yeah, but nobody right. uses it outside of the U.S. But Al Jazeera. Yeah, but huge numbers of Americans use it. We um, and they use it multiple use it. times too, right? Because you're. Do we, yeah. do we want? I, we'll come back to Wells Fargo. Do we want Al Jazeera? Yes. Mm -hmm. so we I'm chatting Al Jazeera, so I don't know. We chat. Yes. See, that's all China. Pornhub, I you think you'll be fond of Pornhub, huh? I think it's good. Yeah, yeah that one I'd get rid of just because I think lots of people are going to guess it. You think Pornhub? I don't think anybody will. Mm. Well, I don't know. That's, you can keep it. Citicorp? 
probably. I think it's just city now. Yeah, city. city. That, that's all. Over. Yeah, city. Yeah. BBC. BBC. Yeah, it's huge everywhere. I like BBC. Yeah. Okay, and we're gonna keep city. CNN. No. Yeah. Maybe. Well, sure. Nobody else. Well, I think. Yes. <laughs> Steam, steam for sure. Yeah, steam so has that's to be. ten, right? We're taking Wells Fargo off, and that's everything else. I'd like Seven, to suggest Le Monde. Le Monde. Which is a, Le Monde, which Kim is like Plata. French BBC. Oh, that's a French paper. Oh, yeah. I've never heard we of that get, though. Well, no, we have it. We have it here, but um, it's only if you're French you watch it. Yeah, yeah it sounds like French people. huge numbers of people around the world speak French. Yeah, uh, not as much as Spanish. No, but with the uh, francophony running around, I think it's going to. I think it's going to be well up there. It's going to be a huge news source throughout much of Africa. Um, how does the group feel about that, Le Monde? I've never heard of it. We get it here, but again, it's, it's mostly French. Can I, can I also get it? We, it's we need 50. to. Hmm? We need to put in things that no one else will guess. So Le Mans. Exactly. Would... Yeah. Do you think really think it's on the top fifty? I. As, I, I if I remember that. correctly, I was watching Le Monde while I was in uh, Thailand. So what would you take off? CNN? Yeah, probably. Al Jazeera? No, I think CNN. CNN is going to be more popular worldwide than Le Monde. Yeah, but I think more people are going to guess it as well. Yeah. Well, what about the, uh, oh, sure, what about all the music apps? Like which? Um, Spotify, Pandora, Spotify. Are those apps or websites? Yes. Both. So yes. what are we doing here? Okay. Spotify and Pandora are huge. App. Probably it's Spotify. Not... Spotify. Spotify is huge it's worldwide. I use it in my car here. So other people are going to guess Spotify then. Yeah, I think lots of people will. Maybe. Okay, it's off. But um, they're going to okay. be in the same predicament we're in, where they're trying to whittle it down. Right. Yeah. I don't think it's going to necessarily be any more likely than most of the rest of these to be in the top 50. What about, um, let's see, I'm trying to think of what She should be able to have a fresh look at it. Well, um, no, is it Ubisoft? What do you think? No, it's I another gaming, it. it's oh, a gaming, yeah. Ubisoft, it's another gaming site. I don't think it's going to. It's not as big as no Steam. Deborah, we're 60. almost out of time. Take a look at that 10 and tell me what you, tell us what you think. Yeah, it looks good. I can't, well, it's awfully small. What's the one, the second to last one? It's a, it's a French newspaper, a French news site. Casper, oh, okay. okay, yeah, oh. I can write that. I like it. Oh, probably number one is Truth Social. Yeah, that's better. Uh, 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 <laughs> we he'll brag and say it is. Yeah, well, that looks good. That looks good. Yeah. No, I think that looks fine. I, and I think we've got enough things that are like not, I mean, some people might get some of the other ones, but I think it's, we're probably good. The reason I think, why, think, go ahead, Jane. No, I think it looks good. The reason why I like mono rules is because it gives you a chance to to outsmart or out luck or whatever these teams are right. getting ten on yeah. it. That's why I like mono rules because right. it's it's a it's a gamble and and we're all kind of on the same equal footing in a way. We have to we have to think outside the box. Yeah, because they, mm -hmm. you know, they added know their stress, science though. fiction stuff and all that. And <laughs> we can't we can't compete with some of these things. So in a way, model rules kind of evens it out. Even a team that doesn't do 
and have all of them could end up with three points and everybody else ends up with zero or one point. Right, right. That's the point. Oh, the I, and there's, there's so many more. Google Maps, weather, the weather app, oh, weather.com. Google Maps. Google uh, Maps. We didn't even put Google uh, on here. But yeah, we, we, we rejected Google because it would be like everybody will go to Google. But Google Maps. But, but whether Google, Google but Maps or Google, would they would Rob say it's just Google on the list? Yeah. But what about weather.com? Weather. Or how about WebMD? I'm not sure about WebMD. Modern Where is it gonna, uh, that's probably Microsoft. only the United States and it's not that many people. Take a picture uh, of this, you guys, because we're gonna we're gonna be over in the you can take Wells Fargo off. Yeah. That yeah, well, not, have an Four, five, so it's not really six, seven, eight, oh, nine, ten. I how think much, this how is much, good. How much about, about Zoom? Oh, yeah. Oh, because people go on Zoom. Oh. Not, to go on the website, you have to have an account. Yeah. Uh, so you're just using an app that I'm using. Okay, good job, you guys. Okay. Good plan. I have a lot of methodology questions. I this was this was more up my alley. This is much more interesting. No science fiction. We're all on even footing here, you guys. Oh, only one was science like fiction water, today. Why are you like saying that? Even that. Hey, believe it or not, but, Rob, I predicted your categories tonight. I predicted three of them. I said you're going to do a well, science the, fiction the one, one on you're going to do a music one. one. On and somebody one said he's mystery. not going to do a music one. I said, yes, he is. The religion one is science fiction. It was kind of music and religion. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I like this one. This is my. All favorite. right. So how do we want to do this? We'll have. Like I'm each going team to lead it them. like I always do, and then you're gonna. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is each team needs to pick one representative from their team to to voice what we're saying, and what we're gonna do, how we're gonna do this is, I'm gonna call on a team. They're gonna name their ten things, and one only representative from each team is going to say yay or no if they have it but first rob is going to say if it's on the 50s list so i'm going to say team whatever list your person and they'll right, say yeah, name of the yeah. thing and rob will tell you if it's on the 50s list or so not. I, actually it's a little hard because it's a 50 item list so if two people said the same thing just say it right away and i don't, I don't even have to look it up because it doesn't matter if it's on the list okay so i'm going to go through these okay here we go so we're going to start with uh, we're going to start with room three. When you're here, your family. Who's your representative? I'll do it. Okay, Bob. All right. So, name one. Pornhub. Yes. <laughs> we got it. We got it. <laughs> okay. Anybody who's Pornhub, cross it And yes, that is number thirteen on the rankings. Wow. wow. <laughs> okay, Bob. Most, most of that happens in Utah with Mormons, by the way. Or the Vatican. Okay, go ahead, Bob. No, I'm not even. Jo I'm not even joking. They've looked this up by state, and and Utah wins. Okay, Utah's. Bob. TikTok. Yes. Facebook. Yes. Use the same. Face as Facebook, by the way, is number three. Wow. Yeah, and and TikTok is nineteen. Alibaba. What? Yeah. Yes. How yeah, we have that. Oh, how do you spell that? A L I. No, you tell it's, us. It's yeah. on the list. No, it isn't. In fact, not on the list. Oh. There's no A L I. It's not on the really? list, so it's wrong for two reasons. Oh, that's hard to believe. Yeah. Okay. Amazon. Yes. Amazon. Oh, well, yeah. Number 12. Is yeah. Carl on our team? <laughs> He's 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 negating you. We might have picked a strategy. Yeah, Wikipedia. Oh yeah, for sure. Y yes, Wikipedia has dropped though. It was number four when I presented four years ago or so, and I mentioned this, but it is now seven. <laughs> okay, IMDb. Hmm, oh. IMDb is not. I didn't think so. Not on the list. Nobody else picked it, so. All right, so that was seven. Yes, yeah, seven, eight. That's eight. I got two more. Okay. Um, all right. Walmart. Walmart? No, that is not on the list. Not on the list. And Zoom. 
Zoom most <laughs> definitely is. And so we very have close it. to the end. 50, 46. 46 of 50. Does anybody and, else have Zoom? Yeah, we had yes. Zoom. Okay, so how many points is that, Bob? None? Zero. Zero. Whoa. Okay. Oh, boy. The great leveling. All right, the next. Thanks, Kyle. Team, the next team is going to be Chicken Dinosaur Void GPT Helicopter, my team. Who's reading it off? I have them on this list if you want me to do it. Okay, Peggy's going to be in charge. Go for it, Peggy. What's okay, we have Bank of America. Nope. Bank of America. Oh, we had all kinds of strategies about that. Um, <laughs> Al Jazeera. How do you spell Al Jazeera? A L A L J. A A Z. No. no, it is not. Damn. We We Chat. We Chat. Is it? I don't know how to spell We, but it's. That's also a porn. A porn. Is that a place thing. to have a small chat. No, yeah. there's only there's only one site with the word chat, and it's not that. It's, it's, Irish it's chat strip yes. chat. <laughs> Jeez, strip chat. I can't believe we didn't come up with that one. That was the what about comic strips. I don't know. Sure. Luanne don't check that. it from your work computer. Uh, We've got city.com or citybank.com. There's nothing with the name city in it. C I T I. Yeah, C I T I. How about B B C? Yeah, no, I typed it that way. There's no cities or city. Okay. How about What's... BBC dot com? BBC, no. Damn it. CNN dot com. CNN is not. Lazada, L A Z A D A. What? Ask yeah. Jamie. I don't know. He knows it. Never heard of it. Lazada. Lazada is the Amazon where you buy everything all throughout Asia. Hmm. No, nope. Alibaba is still L A. Alibaba. It's like Alibaba. No, there's not even any. If it's LA not either. porn. It's not on the list. <laughs> <laughs> and our last hope is Steam. S T E A M. Steam is not on the list. Oh, oh well, why? is that porn? <laughs> you got twice as many as the other team. Games. No, Steam. Steam. we got zero. We got zero. God damn it. Well, okay, yeah, this bonus round, round is awesome. <laughs> this, this is Rob's secret attempt to completely discredit mono rules forever. <laughs> we we, we got to get rid of that mono, mono rule thing. Mono, mono yeah. rules okay. never again. <laughs> yeah, that's dumb. Susan loves it though. So that's good. No. It becomes a guessing. It becomes pure chance then. No, we could have gone to bed a half hour early. We're playing trivia, not a strategy game. All right, what's, what's the next team? Next Fake team. scratcher tickets. Who's your representative? Okay, um, we have Google. <laughs> yes, we got that. Figured. And Google is number one. But we figured maybe Thanks no one again, put Kyle, it. Thanks again, Kyle. You're giving us a how, chance. How about that that alternative search engine, Bing? <laughs> yeah, we got that too. Damn you! <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Kyle, how many? How many do you? Do you? Okay. Bing is number uh, thirty. We got is three left. Uh, I don't know how it's spelled for sure, but Baidu is that yeah, how it's pronounced? Yeah, we got that. We got it. <laughs> Dang you. All right. Uh, hey, ben and Carl are on the same wavelength. That's what's M wrong with us. MSN. MSN. How do you spell that? MSN.com <laughs> is number 39. We got one. We got a point. No one else has. They have won the round. Oh, well, Woo! Mono's rules aren't so stupid now, are they? <laughs> no, they're still stupid. Okay, what's the okay. last one you have, Ben? Uh, well, we're not even halfway done yet. Okay, uh, Wordle. Whoa. No, it's not. <laughs> Wordle.com, oh. which probably redirects to, like, New, New York, York Times. Times I think it is. Yeah. No, there's no Wordle. Okay. Uh, Good. Daily Mail. Oh, no. <laughs> For everyone's daily, daily gossip. Mail. No, no Daily Mail. No. All right, Weibo. How do you spell this? W-E? W-E-I-B-O, I believe. I don't see anything like that. Okay. Oh. Um, Reddit. Ooh, that has Ooh. to be a good one. Anybody have that? that? Reddit.com yeah. is number 20. Hey! Our um, final list. No one has it? You're good. Oh, yeah. We got two. Yeah. Two. Okay, Ben, is that it? I believe so. Yeah, that's it. You got that's two points. List. Okay. Good job, so. team. Next is going to be our confidential answers are hidden in Bill Clinton's saxophone. Who's representing that team? Hey, you, Gail. Gail? Gail, you're muted. 
She's 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 doing it good though. Sorry, I muted. Yeah, I've got it. Um, okay. Is that okay, Cupid? No, it's okay. It's a Russian Facebook. Is it? What? Well, okay. It's a Russian type of Facebook. How do you spell it? Okay. Like, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it could be okay. Why? Or it could be in Russian Cyrillic. Come mm. on, Susan. It's O H K A Y. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Is it on the list? That's There's another way of spelling nothing it. with that it's combination of letters. No. Damn okay. it. Expedia. Oh, good. Expedia? No Expedia. No Expedia. Nope. Disney. Ooh, good. Disney did not make the top fifty. Okay. Um, LinkedIn. Mm. LinkedIn is number twenty-one. Wow! wow. Oh, good. good answer. Ah, we got a mute point. Carl quick. That, that that didn't make our final cut. It was on our long list. Uh, no, nope, we didn't do it. The New York Times. The New York Times. Let's see. Hmm. Would that be NYT or New yeah. York NEW? Nope, neither one. Aww. With Wordle, they all that Wordle they didn't give us none New York Times. It sucks. <laughs> that's why. Craigslist. Hmm. Oh, no Craigslist. And eBay. Who that has to we be? We got there. eBay. Uh, uh, ah, yeah, forty-seven. Someone was going to have it. Forty-seven eBay. Okay, yep, we, we have one. Gail? Uh, Gail, they have. Uh, someone has eBay. Yeah, we have one. We, so you have one. Okay. Last hmm. but not least, and and listening to how many times I heard Carl call out how we many. We only got two left. Okay, go for uh, it. YouTube. Mm. Oh, that has to be. That's number two. Wow. Uh, what's that? Yeah, that do we? WhatsApp is number eleven. Two points. Didn't we have? Did uh, Bob? Didn't we have WhatsApp? Uh, no, we had WeChat. We we eliminated those. We had them on our list, but we didn't select it for. Yeah, we had we had YouTube as well, but that was didn't make our final ten. So. And, uh, Thank you, Christy. Good good strategy. And there's we took, list. We took off. We we said no, but we didn't want to go with anything common. Just in case yeah. my find and search miss something, everyone should look at that list one quick time. But uh, for the ones you didn't get, but we could have won if we would have leaned into the porn. Oh, so uh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, the minute someone mentioned porn, I'm like, oh my god, we didn't even put any of those sites on our list. Minutes to <laughs> we were trying to be respectable. I want to wait and look up the uh, number 49, strip chat. What is that? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. They're the time when Tumblr would have been on that list, but then they banned porn. <laughs> God, that Tumblr video Netflix is hilarious. Netflix is on there. Wow. Yeah, I want to know what percentage of this list is porn. Oh, there's All a of the percentage. Wait a minute. Oh, you guys had my dude, didn't you? Yeah. I mean, oh, weather.com if you have an open mind, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> not, not go is on there. Oh, oh it did make it. Shoot, oh, you're right. What about X Hamster? What is X Hamster? Another porn Another site. Porn oh, site. Oh, 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 hamster porn. <laughs> it's a website for memorializing your past hamsters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. so there's, so there's, there is a Russian site. Com. Somebody mentioned the Russian site. eBay's yeah. on there. Does somebody yeah. have eBay? I don't know what yeah. 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 eBay. Yeah. yeah. There's two Russian ones on here. Yandex number eight. Oh, Yandex. And yeah. DZN. DZN. And DZN number 23. Oh, also mail.ru. Mm. And yeah, mail. Oh, QQ. That's the one I couldn't think of. What is that one for? Is that porn? No, Maybe it's a it's Chinese, uh, <laughs> Chinese chat program. Ooh, I'm annoyed. What? I didn't I think of all the various Microsoft it. ones. Of Ace Bing is wow, there. Cora, a Cora, Cora. I am so, shocked. So I, Kyle I, had a very Kyle had a very good. I think Kyle started a very good question. Is like if you use an app on a mobile device, he said, well, it doesn't yeah. directly go to the website. So this is, I don't know. It's interesting. No, I think yeah. It goes so TikTok is on the list because that was our major question in our round. Was if you use an app. 
Yeah. Yeah. And because Amazon a lot of people access by, TikTok right. through an app, not through a web browser. Yeah, I've never done it on on the computer. It's always been on the app on the phone. So what were the I've only done it on a computer? Mm. We only I scored have... like five points in that round. What were the ones that scored? Who scored a point? What did they what did they use to score? Uh, uh, Reddit. Big Scratcher tickets got two, and Julian. Yeah, but what what were the answers? Reddit. Uh, Reddit then, and MSN for us. You, and what did happen to score us up, Susan? Put the score up. Yeah. Where's the scores? I I access my bank account on an app, but it's goes to the bank website. It's, yeah, yeah it's still website. going HTTP. Oops. So my goal We're was not to finish place. in last place, and we tied for last place. <laughs> so that's finishing Yay. second to last. Yeah, well, well, hey, at least off. we're not last. We're hey, internet citizens. We're not last hey, place. I like that. No, now, had oh, we no, not, not done. Had we not done mono rules, I think everybody would have scored like a 10 or at least an but 8. But we don't want, no. I don't want everybody to we score a 10. <laughs> no, I know. No fun. Why well, do we want to see the same people? I would have got like the, at least five of the top ones and then that's it. Maybe. But the there list. were teams that had answers that weren't even on the list. So right. But they right. like any based other on model rule. Round. They didn't put the 10 yeah. most obvious answers. Yeah, I would have, we would have had 10. On Facebook, He's, Twitter. My, yeah. not my space. If, if we had used Twitter, model rules. That's why it would, that would have been too easy. Yeah, I, on myself, I could have come up with 10 in a flash. No problem. But Carl, is that the, uh, yeah, is that the, the Tumblr video? Yes, it is. That's a great yeah, video. Which 27-point team are you on? The, the, lead, the, the, the leading one. <laughs> oh, come on now. You're tied with us. That's not fair. Okay, so good job, Rob. Thanks for running everything for us. Um, yeah. Kevin, you're going to hook up with... Uh, Troy and and get those questions so that Troy's got it down. Troy, practice your copy and paste. Make sure you can do that. Yeah. Oh um, shit! Sorry, sorry. Damn it! I've never been it. happier to say. Yes, Good Alan. Job team on Are our you store okay? Too. <laughs> sorry, yeah. I, I I posted something. I did that accidentally. Sorry, Was it sorry. Porn? You didn't post anything. No, no, not post. I, I was clicking on the thing, but I forgot to mute it. Sorry. Oh, we didn't see that. We know Ooh. that you say bad words sometimes, Alan, and we love you anyway. <laughs> Just <laughs> go find a porn site. All right. So next week, you guys, don't forget the video is available of almost all of the videos we have done. Check them out. Subscribe to the, to the Susan Gerbic channel so you can see them because I know you're thrilled. And you miss us when you're not around. And uh, don't forget my workshops on Saturday. Oh, and for the workshop, you're going to send me the link, right? Yes, for I the am. Zoom? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Well, I, oh, wait. I have hi, a GSW question for somebody. I want to know how to turn on the uh, on preferences for Gail, and actually probably Carolyn. I don't know if she has it, where you can turn on the preferences to make your your uh, edit page all colorful. Does, you guys remember how to do th what I'm talking about, by Alan? Thank you, Rob. Good night, Alan. <laughs> Good night, Alan. Good night, everyone. Good night, Peggy. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Nobody has an answer to my question. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Are you set for next week, Susan? Yes, are you set? We're, yeah, we're okay. okay. Susan, was that question about Wikipedia? It was about GSOW. The preference section we yeah, Wikip on. Yeah, and Wikipedia. Yeah, on the Wikipedia yeah. page. I was yeah. trying to show Gail how to do that, and I cannot figure out where the instructions are. Because I don't even... I. When I try to search for it in our um, ball, there's just too many hits. So I don't. So what was the question? Okay. There's a preference you could turn you keep, on. You keep a, like flicking out right when you get to the part of the question. <laughs> there's a Wikipedia setting. Yes. In preference. Yes. That changes your coding on the edit screen to look with colors. To look with what? Colors. Well, I you still I can't get that last word that you said. Colors, colors, colors. Huh. All right. And I can't I can't remember how to change it, and I want to give it to Gail. Uh, do you know how to get the preferences? You know how to get the preferences. Yeah, but I don't remember which button to push. It's like like ten buttons. There. Oh well, it's either appearance. I'm looking at it now. It's either appearance or editing. One of those two. I forget which. Somebody's got a sound. Who's that? That's going weird. Um, let's see. I'm looking right now. 
Doesn't look like it's in appearance. What are you looking for? Color code, the Wikipedia. Uh, edit screen. Edit screen, instead of all black and white. Oh, okay. Colors, codes. I had, a, I had an instruction, I think it was in training on how to do it. I'm actually not quite... seeing it here either. Oh, oh, it might be the uh, beta features. I think it might be. Visual, yeah, there's visual differences here. Because it makes it easier for people who are especially learning to edit or- Yeah, 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 okay. that's it. There's, the a, there's a box, one, the there's a box called visual, yellow visual and differences. Green visual differences. Is Gail still here? No, she's huh? gone. Let me I go was say, is, this, is it this one display discs with the old yellow and green colors? Where, you found it under preferences? Yeah, it's under preferences under gadgets. Let me see. Gadgets. Sometimes I turn it on. And what's it called? Um, it's about two thirds of the way down the page. Display discs with the old yellow and green colors and design. Oh, look at you. That's if you're trying to troubleshoot, cool. then you can just have her share her screen so you can see what she's doing. Yeah. This is yeah. what? Fickle. Fickle? Yes. Yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe it's just learning. Search Let's for the word screen, yellow. Troy. That's a good idea for Troy to sh sh share a screen. Oh, oh, you want me to share a screen? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how we, <laughs> when I do tech support, that's what we do. We have them All right. share the uh, screen and Zoom. Because and mine is turned on, and I don't know which one it is. That one. Um, I don't think that's what you're talking about. That's if you're looking at. Uh, um, yeah, that's know, not the, it. The difference Mine's not added. turned on either. It's. It might be under beta. It might be under. No, I let me show you what I think it is. Okay. I I, no I think it. I think it's this. It says visual differences, and it's showing you the edit with different colors in here. See. Where are you at? What, oh. what is that screen? That doesn't look. So good night, everyone. Good night. Hey, Karen. Hi, Mike. Next week. Under beta features. Beta features. Visual differences. Mine's turned on. Good night, Mike. I'm going to turn mine off and see if it makes a difference now. Hmm. Let me see if this is what it is. You're still recording, too. This is not yeah, clear. Right. You think they would have a difference showing here, and they don't. <sighs> Edit. Hey, look at what's no, in the it's not corner. It. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wordle. It's not visual difference because I just turned it off and it's still appearing on my screen. Uh, hmm. so I thought it was a training that we had a, a, and I didn't see it. Is it something you're looking for, Susan, or someone else's? I want my whole team to be using this. It's much easier to train whenever I, I'm working with a person over Zoom, and I did that a couple times this week to sh to be able to help them look at that edit screen because everything's colored yours isn't like that here's mine watch it should look like this can you guys see this yes so, so oh. this is what i want to turn on and it makes it just easier for people when they're editing to be able to see the flaws or problems maybe, or whatever maybe it's something in your js file or it's, 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 a, it's in preferences because I I used to tell everybody to do this and I thought there was a lesson that shows everybody how to do it. And I realized that Gail didn't have hers on. It was all black and white. And I said, oh, you've got to turn on your preferences. I guess I'm going to go. So nobody knows. I'll just go and it's, I tried it everything in training. training. Is it I, went, I went through the training. I read everything and there was nothing like that. Okay. Is they it a new, that on. No. Is, is there a new, um, new editing uh, system because I noticed your thing was bolded that said switch back to old look. So that assumes this is a new look. Oh yeah, yeah. Is that no, the difference? The the look is um the the way the whole it's laid out looks. And that just happened like last week or so. Good night Zeke. Oh she's gone. Yeah mm -hmm. I'll I'll go look I'm leaving too. Good night everybody. Bye. Yeah, I'm gonna go too. Good night. Okay. Good night, everybody. We're talking about Wikipedia. I, I'm I'm still looking through this because mine is set like just like yours. Mine my right. edit box looks just like yours does. Okay, here's here's my preferences right here. Hmm. Let me turn off this recording.